What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Here we are, man. Going to open up the conversations to anyone who's willing to come up and engage. We are uh, allowing Muslims to come up and give us a reason um, why we should believe that, I mean, Islam in any way, shape, or form is connected with the prophets. I mean, last time I checked, I've read the Quran, I've looked at Hadith, I've read the Bible, and I do not see any correlation with the prophets, with Jesus, with Moses, with Abraham. I don't see any correlation, simply because Islam um, says that they believe in these figures, these prophets, doesn't mean that, uh, oh my gosh, doesn't mean that they have a connection with Abraham. Can you guys hear me at all? Checking, checking. Can you guys hear me on TikTok? Can you guys hear it all on TikTok? All right, beautiful. Good. So this should be this should be straight. All right. So we're going to be inviting all of you guys up just to let you guys know again, for those who are unaware, I'm pretty sure all of you are, but for those who may be unaware, um, uh, Bishop Marmari was stabbed by a Muslim, was attacked in his church by a Muslim, and, uh, and he's okay. He's okay. He actually was able to get up and start praying for the man. He actually started to pray for the man who, who attacked him. So uh, that's, that's the kind of God we serve. That's the type of spirit that indwells believers, that he gives us the strength to even care for the one who has attacked us the one who has harmed us and done us wrong. That's literally, that's literally Jesus Christ. That's literally the Holy Spirit. Because by yourself, by your own flesh, you will not be able to, you really won't be able to find that in you to, to do that, you know, to be that loving and forgiving. Understanding that the person who, who has attacked you is misguided and lost and needs Jesus just as much as you do needs Jesus just as much as everybody else. So, yeah. <laughs> he sure. So, yeah, that's where we're at, guys. Um, so if you're a Muslim and you're watching this, you're able to go ahead and hit the request box uh, on TikTok. On YouTube, let me go ahead and uh, get the link for you guys. Here's the link. For those watching on YouTube, if you want to join in and see if you guys will be able to fend better than past Muslims or past conversations, <laughs> then yes, you're more than welcome to come on up and join us. All right. Also, make sure that you guys are hitting the like button. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button. Good to see you, Stace. Hit the like button. Make sure you guys are helping the live get into the algorithm so that people know that we're live so that people can come and engage, right? Because not everybody gets uh, the notifications, but when YouTube sees that there's a lot of traction, it helps out. Also on top of that, guys, for everyone that's giving, thank you guys for giving to the ministry. Um, you know, uh, there's some of you who may have had uh, on Patreon, those to the to the Patreon users, uh, that you have to update your 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 card um, because Patreon will cancel it once your card is canceled. So uh, just make sure that you guys have you have you know your your stuff updated so that um, you can give as you will without Patreon cutting in or cutting out your stuff. All right. So thank you guys so much for that. All right. Here's the link for YouTubers. Who I got to sneeze. Excuse me. But yes, inviting all Muslims. All Muslims are available to come and join. If you are not a Muslim, please do not hit the request. 
We are allowing the Muslims to come on up. All right, thanks, Muhammad, for showing your camera. Ahmed, I need you to show your camera too. John, John. Well, Muhammad was first, so Muhammad, you get to come on up first. And let's see. Uh, Q Nice says, Mar Mari prayed for him because he knows all Muslims are filled with that Antichrist spirit. Exactly. Exactly. We have um, uh, Dark Armored TV. Dark Armed TV says, keep up the great streams, Avery. But God bless you, man. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. All right. So let's go ahead and get Muhammad up here. Let's get Muhammad up here. Let's make sure the sound is up. What's yeah. up? Man? How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Did you did you hear about the uh, the attacks on on Mari Mari man the bishop? Yes, I heard about it. Did you hear about it? Yeah, I've seen the clips. I've seen yeah. the videos. Who is it? Who who is who? who who's the stabber? I don't I don't know his name, but he said that he did it because the bishop insulted Muhammad. Oh. So so he came in and and attacked him for that reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know the world is going crazy about it, but the, the world doesn't go crazy about the 13,000 killed children in Gaza, you know, it's very bad. So what what are your thoughts on it? On what? what? On, on the attack on the bishop? I don't think we uh, shall attack anyone. If we doesn't agree, we can talk about it like we do now. Yeah. But but to attack someone, no. If he live in the country, he have to respect the country. Mm -hmm. no. So if if, if he is living in Australia, he have to respect the Australian laws. Mm -hmm. Right. Nice, nice, nice. All right, well, that's good, man. That's good. I'm glad to hear to hear you say that. So, so what uh, um so what what are your thoughts on the topic then today? Let's dive into it, man. I'm saying that Islam has no connection with Jesus or the prophets. What say you? If you read the Quran and you know the Quran, you you will find that Islam has connection with all the prophet. Twenty five prophets is ne is mentioned in the Quran. So yes, of course, the the prophet Jesus is very close to Prophet Muhammad. There is no prophets between these two, peace be about upon them both. So, uh, but uh, what about you? What do you think about Jesus? You say he is God or he is son of God? You know my beliefs, man. You've been here before. I can't so. Remember. You say yeah. he was son of God, right? That God have have a son. Yeah, which would disconnect him from from the prophet uh, from Muhammad, like simply because. Prophet so you say that. Uh, what, what I'm saying. Listen, what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that simply because you have in the Quran these particular figures mentioned, doesn't mean that you're connected with them. Doesn't at all. Like you have Mormonism. Mormonism mentions Abraham and Moses and all, and the other prophets too. But yeah. They're not connected with them. They're pagans. They're polytheists. What do you mean connected with them? Uh, that they are a derivative, or you know, they share within you know the same religion and beliefs and teachings of the prophets. Of course, all of them believe in one God, not not three God, spirit. Uh, a man. Yeah, yeah nobody believes in three, nobody believes in three gods. So I don't know what what you're. Why you you're believe in three gods? You believe uh, Jesus. The whole. I think that you. I think you believe in three gods. You believe in Allah, Muhammad. Uh, oh, stone, I believe one real. God, one great Creator created everything and sent prophet. Yes. Sir. Yeah, I know that's. I know that's what you said to me, but I'm just going to purposely misrepresent what you just said, and I'm going to continue to say you believe in three gods. How's that feel? Okay, but you don't believe that there is God, the Father, God, the Holy Spirit, God, Jesus? What does that got to do with three gods? How many gods is there? What does that have to do with three gods? Because there's three? <laughs> because there's three what? Three persons, right? Oh, okay. So three persons, not gods. Yes, but you think that they are God. They are God. Right. Do, do you know the difference between a person and a being? You tell me. Okay. So let's 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 walk through this. Like for example, a rock, a rock has a rock has being, right? A rock yep. is a being, right? 
just a second. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, my English is not my first language, okay. right? I know. I'll, I'll, language. I'll be patient. I'll be patient. Yes. Right. Okay. So, do you believe a rock? So, a being being means it's like your state of existence. You know, your your being, your essence. Yeah. So your state of existence. Okay. So, like a rock is a being. You know, mm-hmm. everything has being. Okay? okay. But not everything has personhood. You know, okay. a mind, a will, emotions, you know, self-awareness. Not everything has personhood, okay. but everything has a state of being. But you are one being. I am one being and I am also one person. Yes. Right? But, but, but there's a distinction. Holy Spirit and God oh, is not. Before you, before you do that, let's walk through this. Okay. Like, That's for example, a rock. A rock is a being, correct? It has being, right? Rock, the country. A rock, a rock, like a little a, a stone. A oh, rock. I thought <laughs> I thought you said a rock. A rock. A rock. No, no, not a rock. Not a rock. Okay. Um, yeah. But a rock. Yeah, a rock. Yeah. Yeah, a rock has being. Right. You would agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But would you say now that a rock is a person? No, it's not a person. No. It, it, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it's not a yeah. person. Yeah, it's not a person. So a rock has being, but it doesn't have personhood. It's not a person. Yeah. So already we see a difference between when we say something is a being yeah. and when we say something is a person, right? Yeah. So now let's take it up a step further like humans. Humans have being as well, right? We are human beings, Yeah. right? And with each human being, you would say that each human being is only one person, right? Mm. Okay. Now we're going to take it way further, which is yeah. God, the divine being. His being is divine. Mm. That's his essence, divine being. But within his being, he has three persons, not just one. That's his Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay. So you're saying one being that consists of three distinct persons, not three different beings. It would be three gods if we were saying there are three beings. You understand what I'm saying? But it's one being, one divine being, one divine essence. Mm. So so when God is in the heaven and Jesus is on earth, there are two gods or or uh, the God- What did, I, ju- what did God I just say? Heaven anymore. What, did I, what did I just say? No, just to answer my question. But what did I what did I just say though? Because if you if you understand what I said, then you wouldn't be asking that question. Because it doesn't make sense. Saying it doesn't make sense doesn't mean that you you know. No, no. Just, just question. Represent. God is in the heaven, and Jesus is on earth, right? Or if God is in heaven, he's not on earth. Good. He's Christ is in heaven with him too. Yes, right but I mean, what, what, what does that have to do with what we just broke down? No, I, I mean, when Jesus is walking on the earth, he he is fully God, according to you, right? And full and and fully God when he's in heaven with the Father. It doesn't matter where. No, he no, is. no, no. I mean, when he is walking on the earth, he's fully God. Yes. What okay. does that have so, to do with so, what you just said? Yeah. So, when he is working on the earth and is fully God, what about the Father? Is he also in the heaven? Yeah. So you have a God walking on the earth and a God. Why, in why did you say why time. did you say I have a God work walking on the earth? Why did you say a God? When Jesus is walking on the earth, you say he is God, fully God, right? What does that have? What but hold on. Can you I, break I down what can you break down what I expressed to you? Because it sounds like what I what we broke down together and understood just went out the window. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense. I can't understand. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so just because it doesn't make sense to you doesn't mean that you can't okay. represent the position correctly, though. Okay. Like, so, for example, Tawheed doesn't make sense to me, but really? I can, I can, I can accurate, Very I can easy. accurately represent you represent Tawheed while also breaking it down. Okay. You can you uh, can you tell me what Tawheed is? It's the unification of Allah. The what unification the- of Allah? No, what is Tawheed? When when I say I, I just told you, Tawheed is the unification of Allah. One one God, right? Tawheed. That you say that's Ahad. made up of parts. Tawheed oh, is wait, Ahad. Ahad. Ahad means one of. Yes, one Ahad. Of one of. Wait, wait, you're, one. you're missing it again. 
Ahad means one of. When I say Kul huwa Allahu Ahad, the one and only. That's, Ahad doesn't mean one and only. Yes. Ahad. No, Ahad means one of a group. Ahadun Ahad. When I say Ahadun Ahad, what does it mean? It means one of, one of a group. Okay. Okay, I'm the Arabic speaker here, and you. You are, are the Arabic speaker. Ahad is mean one. Okay, recite one. verse four for me. Same Kul chapter. Huwa, Kul huwa Allahu Ahad. Say recite, he is upon recite one verse only. four. Recite verse four for me. Go ahead. Uh, Surat al Ikhlas, you mean? Yes, the same chapter. Recite yeah, verse four. Rahman Rahim. Kul huwa Allahu Ahad. Allahu Samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuan ahad. Again. Oh, there it is again. So now translate There's that into. Nothing in like him. Yes. There's nothing like him among what? Nothing. What, what is the nothing? There's nothing like God. Okay. One God. But what is, but what is the nothing? What, what group is that? What category is that? I just told you. Kul huwa Allahu Ahad. One God. There's nothing like God. So when you say there's nothing, what is that referring to? What is nothing to referring God. to? There's huh? nothing. There's nothing like God. Okay. There's nothing like God. What is the nothing that is like God? Is there just is it just talking about one thing that's not like God, or is there absolutely nothing in all existence that is yeah. like God? Yes, that is what, what it means. Nothing. Okay. So the in... word ahad, the word ahad is being used as there is not one thing out of all of existence that is like God. Yes. It's one of a group. Okay, we can we can discuss this to, to tomorrow. But you know, you know the Surah Ikhlas, what it is. It's, yeah, it's, I know, Surah Ikhlas. It, it says that your God is one of. One God. It says that your God is one of a group. No. Okay, yes. read, read the translation for me. Yeah, it says God is one of a group. No, read the translation. Take, no, no, put no. the translation on the screen. It, it, it's, it's, funny, it's funny that now you're relying on um, English translation. Okay, okay, then put it on the screen so we can read you just, it. You just told me that you're an Arabic speaker. And yes. then now, and now, <laughs> now we're relying on the on the. Uh, no, because you are saying not something that you 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 cannot find the proof. What does so Wahid if, mean? If you want it, we can put the Surah Ikhlas on the screen and we can read it together. Wait, but you, you're saying you're saying that Ahad means absolutely one, right? When you when you talk about God, Ahad, yes. But when you talk about God, God now. absolutely one, yes, of course. So, so Ahad changes. Not if you're talking about God, it's not changed. No, Ahad is but, God. So if you're not talking about God, it can change. Unique, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is one unique. You, no, no, no. I'm, I'm asking you a question off of what you just said. Yeah, if it's yeah. not talking about Allah, it changes. It's if you're talking oh. about what? If you're not talking about Allah, the word Ahad it changes. No, it doesn't change. No, it's, it's okay. Specific. So if it doesn't change, we just saw in the same chapter, just a few more verses down, it uses the word Ahad to talk about the group of creation, of all existence. That's not like Allah. So one, Ahad does not mean absolutely one. Ahad means one of. Yeah, okay. It's fine. We can, we can, do, we can move on. But uh, I want right, to... We can move on. Yes. No worries. Okay. So, so uh, going uh, back to the link that is uh, with Islam and the actual prophets, yeah. Muhammad contradicts the, what the prophets taught. Like Islam what? has no connection with them. Like what? Uh, for, for example, yeah. Moses taught that Allah, that that Yahweh, God, is his, is a father. Right? Obviously, Muhammad says that his God is not a father, right? We don't use father in the uh, in Quran. That's not use father and son. That's I use know. God, Allah, Al Ilah, and Habit, the slave. I know. That's the yeah. point. Yeah. So Muhammad comes, teaches that God is not a father, while the other prophets, Moses, Jesus, the rest, teach that God is the father. In your Bible, not in the Quran. Which means that the Quran is disconnected from the prophets. <laughs> so you are taking you are you are taking the Bible besides the Quran. If you that's, want to talk that's about what the prophet, Quran, that's what the Quran, Quran tells me to do, bro. The Quran tells me. 
Let the people of the gospel judge by what's revealed in it. Let the people of the Torah judge by what's revealed in it. Yes. That's which, what the Quran tells me. Torah? Torah. Which Torah? Is the Old Testament Torah? Yeah, it is. No, it is not. It isn't? What's the What's the Torah? Who write the Old Testament? No, what's the Torah? The Torah is the book given to Prophet uh, Moses, and we don't have it today with us. We How do you know that? that the, here we go, guys. How do you know that the Torah was given to Moses? Because it's mentioned in the Quran. Show me. Where shall I show you? In the Quran? Yep. Of course. You just said it's in the Quran. You said, I don't have the Torah today. You know what the Torah is. It was something that's given to Moses. Show me where it's, and you know this because the Quran says it. Show me where the Quran says the Torah was given to Moses. I want to see that. And if you need time, I'll give you time. I will, I will of course, look at it where the, the Hadith or the Quran telling about it. You know, you said it's in the Quran. I, I, I say that the Torah is in the Quran, yes. No, you said the fact that the Torah was given to Moses is in the Quran. You said the Quran tells you this. Okay, just a second. Look, someone's trying to help you. Someone said chapter 2, verse 87. Let's look at that. You want to look at that? Yes. Chapter 2, verse 87. Let's see if, if the Quran tells us that the Torah was given to Moses. Chapter 2, verse 87. Chapter and 2, verse 87. Yeah. Let, me, uh, let me try to get it up on the screen for us. And for a, it certainly uh, gave Moses the, the scripture, the Torah, and for brother, the, brother, hold on, hold on, hold on. So it doesn't. So it doesn't say uh, Torah, does it? <laughs> Which book was was uh, to Moses? You tell me. I'm telling you, it's, it's the it's the Torah. Show me where the Quran says it. Oh my God, man! I know. Let's let's open the tafsir then. Open the tafsir. Oh, nope. so nope. you said it's in the Quran. Yes. Okay, so show me the Quran. I don't care about what any tafsir says. You said that this Quran tells you what the Torah is. Show me where it says it. Show me where it says that the Torah was given to Moses. It says the book, and the book, all Muslims know the book is the Torah. We can open the tafsir. All Muslims know the book is the Torah. No, my friend, if, if you want to take about Quran, you cannot talk about Quran without a hadith and tafsir, and you know ah, that. Okay. But your Quran tells me that it is the best hadith. No. So what do you mean I need some other hadith other than the Quran to talk about the Quran? The Quran tells me that the Quran is the best hadith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says follow Allah and his messenger. So when Prophet Muhammad says something it's not in, in Quran, it's in the hadith. And the hadith and the Quran they follow each other. And you know but, that. Your, the Quran says that it itself is detailed about everything and explained. Yes, about about hellfire, about one God. It doesn't say hellfire, it says everything. It doesn't, it, the Quran doesn't tell you that it's detailed about everything like you can... It says everything. Quran and, and read how to build the it, car. It says everything. Yes, everything about these subjects. It doesn't say it. everything about this or that or this. It says okay. it's a detailed we explanation of everything. That's why I'm telling you, you can, we can open the seer and see what the uh, Islamic scholars have write, written about this subject. Yeah, even, the, even, the, even, even your scholar says that, yeah, it's talking about everything. Talking okay. about existence, okay. talks about what is right and okay. wrong, the, the talks about because... what is prohibited and what is not prohibited, okay. talks yes. about what is preferred and disliked. Okay, fine. Problem solved. No problem. Yeah, so problem solved. So your Quran says it's detailed about everything, not just some things. No. Everything. Yeah. So where does your Quran tell what me is everything, what the Torah was given to? When you say everything, yes, everything about the subject, like paradise, one God, prophets, etc. But not about how to clean your teeth. Does, okay. you, does the Quran mention how to clean teeth? No. All right, so it, it doesn't have to give you details about how to clean teeth. Yes, but, does but, it mention the Torah? Yes, the book. The so Torah. then it should give you details about the Torah. So that's, that's at why least, like for for example, uh, Muhammad, who who was the Injil given to? Isa alayhi salam. And it says it by name, chapter five, verse forty six. Who was the Zabor given to? David. It says it by name, chapter twenty one, verse one o five. Who was the Torah given to? Moses. Why doesn't the Quran tell you tell you that? 
<laughs> and we gave Moses the scripture. It's telling you. What, what scripture? I just tell, told you that the, the scripture is the Torah. You can read it. Can you show that. me? Dude, listen, listen. Yeah. Can you show me from the Quran where it identifies this scripture that, that Moses received as the Torah? No, I can show you from the hadith if you want. Got it. Yeah, the hadith that come 200 years after Muhammad that no. rely on also Jew and Jewish and Christian tradition. No, no. The, yes. hadith, the hadith is from the prophet's companions who have... 200 that. years. Do you, do you, do you, have, were, a, do you have a hadith manuscript that dates back to Muhammad? You know what? Do you have a hadith manuscript that dates back to Muhammad? If you want to talk about hadith expert, I will get you some people. I am not hadith expert. Then you shouldn't. About... Then you shouldn't mention it. You shouldn't. No, I will it. mention what it's written in hadith. Look, bro. You can, you uh, that's you, fine. You can. You can. You can do you have manuscript from your own Bible? From you can. Your, you can mention. You can mention the, the hadith. The but once I then show you that your hadith comes to your hadith. Okay. Comes 200 years after Muhammad, relies on Jewish and Christian tradition <laughs> to even know what these books are. Yeah, yeah. okay. Let's see the hypo hypocrisy. Do you have yeah, so, so your Quran? Doesn't tell no, don't try to change the subject. So, your Quran you're doesn't away tell you about the Torah, right? You're running away, right? So, your Quran doesn't tell you about the Torah, is that correct? Yes, it tells it tells that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Moses the scripture, and the scripture is the Torah. Every Muslim scholar says that this is the Torah. No one says this is Quran. All right, brother. Or so, indeed. So I'm going to give you one last chance on, on something else because see, obviously you couldn't you couldn't show anything, but you're going to keep repeating it. I can. You, you know, I, I, you're, you're, on, you're, on, you're on bot mode. It's okay. okay. So, you're, so you're, your Quran doesn't tell you anything about the Torah. It doesn't tell you who it was given to. It doesn't even give you really details. But fortunately for you, it does do something. It quotes it. Did you know that? Yeah, the Torah. it quotes the Torah. Yeah, to Moses. Yeah, yeah, it quotes it. So when it quotes the Torah, it says that we ordained in the Torah, eye for an eye, life for a life, tooth for a tooth, and so on and so forth. Do you know where that where we can find that? Find what? Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, ear for an ear. In the Quran, or what? What? What do you mean? The Quran says. Yeah. That we ordained in the Torah, mm -hmm. an eye for an eye, life for life, ear for ear, and so on and so forth. Do you know where we can actually find this quote? Nope. It's in Exodus, the Old Testament that I have today. Yes. Chapter and, and, 21. Yes. And we Muslims have... So you're, have can, can I talk? We Muslims, we have no problem with some of the Old Testament or, or New Testament. Uh, you can find some of the God's words. We have no. You just told that. me that the Old but Testament is not mean, the Torah. It, it doesn't mean that this book <laughs> is from Jesus or Moses. Which is it, man? And the Quran is the Furqan. You just told me that the that the Old Testament is not the Torah. Yes, but then you just said, well, yeah, you know, uh, some of your Old Testament, is, we, have, Old we have no problem with your Old Testament, just, you know. Listen what I said. Uh, some part of the test, uh, Old Testament or the New Testament, like one God, we don't have a problem to say, okay, maybe this is from God, that there is one God, worship only one nice. God. We don't nice. have I, I, I'll do the same thing. I'll do the same thing. Yeah. Uh, you don't. We don't, we Christians, we don't have a problem with the Quran, the original Quran. Yes, you uh, do. Your, your Quran has been corrupted, it's been changed, and whatever we I'm find the in the, hold on, hold on. Whatever we find in the Quran that agrees with the Old Testament and the New Testament, that part is intact. Uh, the parts that disagree, it's it's corrupted. We know what, that. What, that's is, what, what does uh, Quran disagree? Let's, let's take it. What? Like yeah, what? like for example, yes. in the Torah it says in Deuteronomy chapter fourteen verse one yes. that Israel are the children of God. Yes. In chapter five verse eighteen of the Quran it says Israel, the Jews, are not the children of God. Yes. Contradiction. That so chapter what five verse eighteen. God. Chapter what? five verse eighteen is a corrupted verse in the Quran. But but what do you mean with children of God? What do you mean? Like Jesus, we are children of God like Jesus. It doesn't matter. No. 
Yes, it does. Because no, it doesn't. Okay, I want you to ask. Me, you ask, you asked me to show you a difference. Okay, I want to ask you about uh, another subject. But but but, but, I, but I'll tell you. But I'll we tell are you. Talking about Jesus, it's, it's, it's children of God in the sense that He's the loved ones. Okay, but like um, I'm gonna move on, man. Thanks for coming up. I'm gonna move on to the next guest, bro. You didn't you didn't bring anything. Okay, bye. Peace. What's up? GT, you're up. All right. Hello there. How you doing? What's up, brother? Are you a Muslim? An ex one. Some few Say questions. That. Say that again. I'm an ex Muslim with few questions, if you may. You're, you're an ex Muslim? Yes. Okay, where do you stand now? Um, I'm an atheist. You're an atheist. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your what's your question, bro? Thanks a lot for allowing me. Um, so I know that the I mean the general idea about uh, by the way I'm from Saudi Arabia, um, so English is not my first language, but I, I could try. Anyway, moving on uh, to the question. So I know that. Who God is, is three persons. What God is, that's one essence, right? So the Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the Father, like on like a personal level, but they, they have the same, they share the same divine essence. Now, my question is, is the Father the Son in essence? No. When you say, is the Father the Son, you're talking about persons. They just share the same essence as you greatly, uh, you know, you just. Yeah, explain. but I mean, so so the father is not the son in essence. Well, that's a that's a wrong question. The father and, and the son, you're talking about persons. You're talking about hypostases. So they are not the same hypostases. They are the same uh, essence, though. Yeah, so they're the same essence, meaning. So the essence itself as a being does isn't isn't considered father or son or any or holy spirit. These things I'm sorry, these persons are just coming out of emerging from the essence. So the essence itself is as separate from the father, the son and the holy spirit. Right? Well, no, well, really you you have a distinction between what a being or essence is and then personhood or hypostasis. So that's where within your question you're conflating the two so no no what i mean is i know that the father is not the son i mean each of them is self-identified self-recognized that he is not the other person just really aware of it just to make sure like so you you said you're an ex-muslim so you don't believe muhammad's a prophet uh no so you you can say right now that muhammad is a false prophet i could say he's a pedophile Oh, yeah, you for sure ain't a Muslim. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so you have a, the distinction between the essence and the, and the hypostasis, the essence and the persons, and you have, um, you know, you, you're not going to say, oh, so is the father the son in essence? No, you don't. That's not what you say. You have, you have the father, son, Holy Spirit that share the same divine essence, mm -hmm. The father begets the son, so and the spirit proceeds out of the father's essence. So really, you have you can have what is a the monarchical uh, trinity. Trinity. So, did the the son emerge from the father? Was he somehow just he's to brought, simplify he's, it? He's he, brought forth like he's begotten from the father. He's brought forth from the father's essence. So just to put it on a human like. Um, within the um, limitation of human logic, just to oversimplify it. In that sense, we could say that the son used to be inside of the father, just to, you know, no, this is an, image. This is an eternal generation. It's as if like, you know, how the sun brings forth light automatically. Like that's just what, like the, the sun in the sky, like it brings forth light, right? automatically now imagine if you have an eternal sun if the sun is always there then it's always bringing forth light so there's not a time where light is not 
being brought forth as an eternal generation. Okay. So um, when it comes to the mind, like the control of God, it's it's uh, it's shared among them. It's within the with it's within the um, the essence, right? It's not something within the Father uh, himself, right? It's in the essence. Well, the the essence belongs to the Father and is shared or attributed to the Son and the Spirit as well. So, um, what's up, Sam? Yeah, I I, I want to call this guy out. So, um, his questioning. You know, I, I have a good sense of discernment. My friend, why are you so concerned about the logical consistency of the Trinity? If the Trinity is logically consistent, would you accept the Trinity? Well, it's not about the logical. Uh, I was just trying to understand it. No, uh, when it comes you, my question is specific, because now I'm going to see if you're sincere, if you're just uh, putting on a facade. Because, you know, to me, people are guilty until proven innocent. But to my friend, people are innocent until proven guilty. If the Trinity is logically consistent, will you accept the Trinity? Acceptance and when it comes to what? To logically that accept God it? Exists, and that the triune God exists and Jesus is your God and judge? Well, accepting it logically doesn't mean that God exists. These are two separate Would things. Would you accept so. that the triune God exists if it makes logical? Stop the tap dance. This is the third time I ask you the question. Yeah, is the, these two things got nothing to do with one another. That's you and I both know that. Time. I'm going to ask it a fourth time. Since your argument <clears throat> is based on the logical coherence of the Trinity, if it's shown to be logically coherent, you're just admitting you still wouldn't accept it. So why are you asking? I, I wasn't I wasn't trying to defy or to, to get this gotcha moment when it comes to logical. I, just, I was just trying to understand the yeah. Trinity Once and the connection. Let me ask it a fifth time. Here, let me ask God's logic. Maybe I'll let him answer. No, no, no. You don't need to ask me the fifth time. I mean, so I already answered you the first time. You answer, why are you asking whether the Trinity is logically consistent if it has no bearing on you accepting the reality of the Trinity? So I was just trying to understand the Trinity when it comes to from the Christian perspective. That's all. Okay. So if someone asked it a sixth time, brother, maybe we're having you said English is not your first language. If you're asking about the logical coherence of the Trinity, I'm presuming it's because you want to see if it's sound because that would lead you to accept the Trinity. Yes or no? It's one, I would say one step ahead towards that direction, maybe. Now we're getting closer. Okay. Number two, whether someone can provide a logically coherent model of the Trinity, because if you've been following the arguments which you have because i can hear you've been listening to debates christians have tried to come up with different models trying to show the logical coherence of the trinity but now let's assume god exists let's assume because you're an atheist if god does exist and he's unlike anything in creation and he's <clears throat> a being that defies our mode of existence would it be logical for us to assume there are things about God we won't fully comprehend? That is possible, but... Um, Why would it the... only be possible if God created time, space, and place, which means he exists before time, space, and place, which means he's unlike anything in creation? But that doesn't make sense when you say before again, time and space. It doesn't space. make sense to who? You're not to the you. standard of logic. Or no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you said uh, that he existed before time. So what does that well, mean? Because, okay, well, because if, unless you're God, I'm going to have to use language that has temporal modifiers. You want me to get technical? Sans time. You want to sound intelligent? You know what I meant. Stop the game. Let me ask you again. If God created time, space, and place, and from your maggot brain, your peon brain, you cannot help but speak of that relationship in temporal language. That's why I said before, wouldn't that mean that God exists without time, space, and place, and therefore would be unlike anything in time, space, and place? Well, see, there we go with the wall. If, 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 if we're well, able to do that, we have two things. No, no, let me try. No, 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 I'm not. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. So, so there are two things here. The no, question is, yeah, so there are two, two points here. No, um, even thing. though we, no, there are two things. No, there's one thing. 
No, no, no. How do we falsify it? No, I'm not asking you about the falsification principle. You didn't even answer my point. You're doing the test. Yeah, so how do I know? So when you say, no, no, when you say it's beyond my time. It's the next point. Wait, wait. So when it comes to. God's logic. Let me repeat the question for this troll because this demon is not answering. Okay. I am not troll. Hey. God's logic. Can I ask you the question? If we presume God exists and he created time, space, and place, that means God exists without time, space, and place. So would that mean that he's unlike anything within time, space, and place? God's logic? Yeah. You see how easy it is for him to answer, tap dancer? Yeah, because he's Christian anyway. But no, I, what I'm saying is... You don't need to be a Christian. You just need to presume the argument for the argument. Okay. Sake. Okay, so you don't need to jump to things ahead. Now, my question is, when you receive... When you receive something illogical, what's the difference and how do you between... know something is illogical? What's your standard for logic? Did you come up with it? Or is it a metaphysical reality that you're borrowing to attack God? No, no. I'm, I'm saying... I'm asking about your terms That's of lo what is logical. Use of logic now. I want to know. I want you to justify your use of logic. You said illogical, but you're an atheist. Right? No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. Just That's what you said. Justify your use of logic. Halal, Habibi. That's what yeah, you said. Habibi, yeah, Azizi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Aziza. But brother, I'm trying to get to the next step because I'm trying to see if you're asking sincerely. I am. I, I'm, I'm just... Atheist, to answer the question. You can be an atheist say, okay, yeah, if I presume theistic, uh, a theistic worldview, a God who creates time, space, and place means he exists without time, space, and place, so he'll be unlike anything within the temporal universe see it's easy My, yeah as easy yeah habibi yeah habibi and who, who, i mean who created god then okay see there we go <laughs> okay yeah who created god okay, can answer the question if we presume god caused time space and place that means he's without time so how can you even ask the question because that assumes he came into being which means that he's bound to time so your question now is illogical talking about logic no 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 no, no, it's very logical because the the problem with time is we don't know how time started to begin with. Um, we don't know that well, God even created time. Atheist, no, if you start as an agnostic atheist, yes, you don't know. But I'm not an atheist. I don't share your presupposition. I'm a theist. So since as a theist who believes God has spoken, God tells me that he created the time space material continuum. So even though I was I was generous enough to engage, even though that was a different topic, I was talking about the Trinity. No, you know, you went to all five because I'm trying to get back to the Trinity. Let's go back. Let's keep it simple. I know the dogs are manifesting in the comment section because they think they can do it better. But Habibi, let's go back to the Trinity. I'm trying to get to the point of the Trinity by showing you. If we presume, if we assume for argument's sake, if we assume, not saying you have to believe it, just for argument's sake, put yourself in the shoes of a theist. And you believe God created time, space, and place. Just <clears throat> for the argument's sake. That means he's a God without time, space, and place. So by his very nature, he's like anything, unlike anything in the temporal finite universe. So that means his existence will have no precise parallel to it because he's unlike anything. Can we at least... Okay, so when you said time, what do you mean by what is time? I mean, how do you want me to define it? The beginning of successive events? Is, I mean, how do you want me to define the term? Well, that's my question. What is time? I don't know because I don't know what your definition is. No, no. You said God created time. I don't know what this, yeah. what created what. So what is time? God brings into being the temporal finite creation. For us as Christians, that's when time begins. So when did it begin? When God caused creation to come into being. Yeah, but when was that? When God caused creation to come into being. Yeah, so like, are you saying 6,000 years ago? Or is it when Adam Irrelevant, came? Because you're using now a human measurement. I'm just telling you when time begins. So can we go back to the Trinity? You still didn't answer my question. Just a few more. If he doesn't, we're, we'll, we'll move yeah. on to it. Let me repeat the question that you didn't answer again. See, I tried 12 times, even though the dogs in the comment section are manifesting, thinking they know better. And they can do a better job. Let me repeat the question at 12. Okay. Times. Wait, 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 wait. Look, look, when you ask me, try to be respectful. Like, really, you need to be respectful when okay, you speak now, to me. 
are you going to answer the question? We're going to appeal to sympathy because it doesn't work with me. No, okay. no, no. I got nothing to do with sympathy. I'm, I okay. got can something to do with question, respect. Can we with answer? respect, that's all. Okay, can we answer the question? Okay, can I repeat it so we don't appeal to emotions? I know. So I'll give you a hug, Habibi. I'll kiss you. Habibi. All right. If we presume, I don't know. I don't know if it, I, I don't know if you're serious. If you're hey, trolling logic, with this, what do you want to do, man? This guy doesn't want to answer questions. Well, we're gonna go to move on. We can move on. Right. God logic. What about the Trinity? Yeah, yeah. We talked about we didn't the, even get to the Trinity. Trinity. No, you did not. You. Hey, you'd be a good pole dancer, anyway, brother. I'll be in the background listening. All right. All right, brother. Yeah, don't fall for the trick. This guy, you can tell, he's been listening to arguments against the Trinity from of the course. Most and yeah. and that's where this stuff comes from. I ain't stupid. Okay, but I love you, brother. But I just want to do that because you got these Christians who think they're better than us, uh, armchair quarterbacks. But I love you, brother. I'll be in the background. I got your back, homie. <laughs> All right, man. What's up, Fazil? Hi. Hi, God. Can you hear me? Can hear you. Okay. Okay. So just to add, uh, add one thing. So you said Ahad means one. One of. No, actually, Ahad no, we're, talk means we're talking about the disconnect that islam has with the prophets bro okay 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 i will go with it so in that case my opinion is islam your, is the your only mic sounds, your mic doesn't sound clear like you okay how about now is it okay yeah just go ahead and, and talk and we'll see how it sounds okay so my point is islam is the only religion which has connection to the old testament prophets and jesus because that has connection with the what a connection with the Old Testament and the Jesus. So Old you believe, Testament prophet. You believe yeah. that the you believe that the Old Testament is from God? Yeah, Old Testament means normally when we say Torah Injil means that is the word of God. The word God is the one talking. But when you see the Old Testament, the Torah or Injil, the what you have, the New Testament, Old Testament, that is the human eyewitness account. Right? I can't because understand the, you, bro. That when when we say Old Testament, it's the what? Yeah, I mean, when we say the Old Testament, that is the human writing, right? The eyewitness writing. Okay, let's let's focus on the Injil. So oh, no, take... no, hold on, hold on. The human, the human right, the humans wrote wrote the books. You believe that too, don't you? No, no. I, I mean, okay. Let's go to the the New Testament. In the New Testament, Paul writing letters to the Galatians, the Romans. That is the Paul writing. You said the that old... is the word of Paul, right? You said the Old Testament. No, no. New Testament. Let's focus on New Testament. Injil. Okay. So in the New Testament, okay, if I see the Paul's writing, Paul's letters, who is writing? The Paul is the one writing. It's a, it's a word of Paul, right? It is not a word of God. It is the word of God. He's inspired by God. Okay, you say it is inspired by God, but it is the actual word of Paul, right? Paul is the one giving the that sermon. Is, Paul is the one doing the lecture. By inspiration of God. Okay, by inspiration of God. But according to our definition, Word of God mean God is the one talking as the first person, second person, or sometimes even the third person. You, you God believe, is the one doing the talking. For, okay. for example, so so you believe that the Injil is is the words of Allah verbatim? Yeah, yeah, that's the definition. Yeah. Yes. Who, who wrote who wrote it? Did Allah write it himself? No, the human wrote it. But when human wrote it, it is word of God because it is who is the speaking. The where is the source of information coming? That God. is from God. You, so human writers are writing down the word of God. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yes. All right, so we're past that. So you yeah. believe that the Old Testament is the word of God? No, Old Testament is similar to the New Testament. It is the people writing their own understanding. So right? is the Old Testament the word of God or not? Old Testament has word of God. Entire Old Testament is not word of God. Okay, got it. So the parts where it quotes God, that's the word of God, right? Yes, the word of God. Yeah, okay. you wrote it. Yes. So the yes, parts sir. that it's not quoting God, that's not the word of God. That's just narration per se. But when yeah, it quotes a, God, it's the word of God. Is that right? Yeah, same same thing applied to the New Testament too. Okay, got it. So you're saying that, uh, William Lindham, are you a Muslim? You're saying that, um, you're saying that, uh, that Islam is connected with the words of God that are mm. that's found in the Old Testament. Yeah, yes. Okay. So let's let's go over an example. I, I, I brought this example up with the other guy before. Okay. So in the in the old testament, God says that he is a father, that Israel is mm. his children. 
Mm, yeah. Is that, does the Quran affirm that? Okay, no. When it comes to Quran, Quran deny that God has literal children. Okay, that's me. Does, does he have does he have children in any sense? Any sense, no. In Quran, okay, so it doesn't mean it doesn't mean it doesn't have to be literal. He doesn't. He denies having children at all, literal, mm -hmm. metaphorical, figurative, spiritual. He denies having children across the board, right? Yeah. No, Quran denies having children literal only. The meta when it comes to oh, meta, so, so not, Quran does allow for metaphorical children. No, Allah? it is not. Yeah, no, it is not allowed or it is not denied. We call it bidwa. Bidwa means innovation. That is not permitted or that is not even denied. We do not know why it, why it, oh, it, is. it is denied. It says that no one can come to Allah except as a slave. So it does deny a metaphorical sense of being a son. No, that's the simply the little the. No, it doesn't mean that. Normally, that it when it comes to this, the that son, the son knows not that uh, the father and son. It is not mentioned. It's a bidwa. It is it's mentioned. Not, no, I told you, literal mention. The so here's, is my question. here's my question. Okay. Does uh, does the Quran allow mm -hmm. or and and uh, acknowledge that Allah is a father in some sense? No, I told okay. you. Okay, so it's, it's over. It's over. It's no, over. It, it's over. It is, it is not mentioned. That's what I'm telling you. No, it is mentioned. For yeah. example, chapter 5, verse 18, it says okay. that the Jews and the Christians say, we are the sons of God, his beloved. Okay. So in what sense are the Jews and Christians saying that they are the sons of God? Well, yeah. I think it's a literal sense, not a metaphor. All right. So for my guests here that's in the private chat, I need you guys to confirm that you're Muslims. If you're not Muslims, I need you guys to go because you guys are taking up my space. I can't even get any more guests. All right. Thank you for confirming you're a Muslim. Can you please show your screen so I know that you're not a troll? I need your screen to be on. Muhammad. Show your screen, please. That's my way of saying that you're not a troll. I don't, I don't just believe. Okay. I, I thank you guys for showing up. But if I need an Arabic speaking Christian, I will ask and invite you up. But I don't need that at the moment. So for the non-Muslims that's here, can you guys please leave the, the lobby? Because you guys are taking up space for the, for the Muslims to be able to join. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Mohammed, you just have to turn your screen, your camera on. That's all you got to do on your face. On your face. All right, you're playing games. Goodbye, Muhammad. Let's see here. All right, looks like we got um, people who's just trolling on YouTube. Got to kick those guys out. But we got guests on TikTok, so I'm gonna bring up the TikTok guests and see what what uh, what they come up with. See what TikTok has to offer us on this subject. <clears throat> all right, all right. Okay. Oh, I thought he was ready. Hey, buddy. Hey, on logic. What's going on? The real message. Good, my friend. Good, my friend. Yourself. 
I'm pretty good. Can everybody hear him on YouTube? Can you guys hear our friend, The Real Message? Can everybody hear him? I'm not sure. I know that you can't tell. It's, it's me. That's it. All right. You're good. All right. What what you got to say, man? Why do you guys reject the prophets, man? Why do you guys? Why do Muslims reject the prophets? Yeah. How do we reject prophets? Well, the prophets, uh, you can't accept the prophets without accepting their message. Wouldn't you agree? Correct. All right. Well, the but prophets have a message. Them. Yeah. The prophets have a okay. message that you deny and reject. Well, let's. How do, where do you want to work from the start or middle or the end? Where do you want to go? Well, okay. So, for example, um, who is uh, who is uh, the son of the covenant of Abraham? Son of the covenant. Yeah, who's the son of promise? It wouldn't have been Isaac. That's true. To the Bible, That's true. To the Bible. Correct. But at the same time, if we read the lineage of Hagar, which is Ishmael. He's, God said that he's the angel of God said that he was going to uh, make her um, lineage numerous in number. That's true, but that has not, that well. has nothing to do with the covenant. You so and he's going to bless them as well. That's true. He will be also blessed with many sons, but that doesn't mean that he is the son of promise and the son of the covenant that God will establish Correct. the covenant with. Okay, that's good. But so a lot of Muslims would disagree with you on that, but you are in the right on this one. So. We can move past that. So you accept that. That's good. Um, according to the uh, the prophets, they also teach that God is the father. Does Islam agree with that? Real message, you muted yourself. Real message. For those watching, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us out. We got 2,300 people watching on YouTube, almost 500 watching on TikTok. That's awesome. Guys on YouTube, make sure you guys smash that like button. Real message, are you there? Make sure you guys smash that like Real message, what's going on with you, man? You getting phone calls? All right, I'm going to just drop you down until you're ready. Bring up the next guy. Is it possible you can get somewhere quieter? All right, so we got people who's, uh, man. Abu Jamal, how are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. What do you think of the topic? I just wanted to let you know something. Uh, I don't want to hear you disrespecting the Prophet or Allah, okay? Because I don't, I don't, I'm not here for that. Hey, you can catch Diego. Hey, 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 you, 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 you can Diego. find me wherever okay. I'm at San Diego, Balboa so Park, careful. 12 to 5. Show up, show up, show up, show up, show up, show up, you coward. Show up, you coward. Show up. That's y'all's religion of peace right there. We don't want you guys to be disrespecting the prophet and don't disrespect Allah, don't disrespect the Quran because we can find you. We can find you in San Diego. We can find you in San Diego. Just don't be, don't be disrespecting the man. Show up. Pull up. Pull up. Please. Please. Pull up. And I'll give you a nice hug and pray for you very, very uh, passionately. Say a nice prayer for you, my friend. All right, let's get somebody. Can we get some real guests here, man? Let's get some real guests. Hey, Logic. Sorry about that. I'm cool. Oh, yes. Welcome back. No worries. Um, well, we're talking about the, um, the prophecy. From the the lineage, no, he wasn't. Of... No, no. So, so we we got past that. We was asking. I asked. So the prophets teach that God is the Father. Is is, is Islam in no, line with that? No, we didn't even get there. We didn't even get there. We literally we got small. there. We're on the um the lineage of 
We're not on um, no lineage of a Hagar. Okay, what, what do you let's start wherever you feel like? I just asked you the question: Is Islam uh, in line with what I asked you? Does this does the Quran in line with the question was? You didn't hear me. Yeah, I gotta repeat it, bro. Please, I, I honestly didn't hear you. That's what I'm asking. Okay, so the prophets taught that God was their father. Is the Quran and Islam in line with that? No. So you reject the prophets? No. Because in the Bible, God said that there's going to come a time when he's going to give something better than sons and daughters. Where does he say that he's not going to be a father anymore? Like I said, he said at the time, there's going to come a time he's going to give us an eternal name. No, not you. It's not you. That has nothing to do with you. No, he's talking to eunuchs specifically. Now, yeah, in the Bible, that's Isaiah 56, he's talking to eunuchs who are rejected by their by their parents because of their condition. Um, and so he says that you will be given names better than sons and daughters, talking about eunuchs. He was going to give an eternal so, name, he said. Yeah, he so, so, where, so where does it say that God is not going to be a father anymore? Something better than sons and daughters. It's better that he gives us eternal names. Where does the Bible say that God will no longer be the father? In the Bible? Uh, it doesn't say. He says that he's going to do something better. So, than so thank you so much. So he's still a father, according to the prophets. Into it. Was Allah? Was oh, he's not. So show me. Okay. So can you show uh, Allah? Was he ever a father? No, he's never begotten. Never, okay, never, got never it. So he's never been a father. Yet the prophets taught that he is a father. So it goes against the prophets, right? That was the language they used back then. To I don't care to, about um, if it's the language that they used back then. The prophets said that he was a father. Muhammad says he's not a father at all, never was. So he contradicted what the prophet said, right? Actually, that wasn't from Muhammad. That was from Allah directly. Okay, so your Allah through Muhammad is contradicting what the prophet said, right? He's contradicting what the writers wrote. Which are the prophets, right? No, incorrect. All right, who wrote the Torah? Um, the, the scribes. Our, Did Moses write it? Yeah, Moses wrote the Torah. Exodus chapter Moses 16, wrote, God oh, tells Moses to write these words as a memorial. Okay, so yeah. Moses wrote where he died yeah, and where so, he was buried? And, then that, and that's Joshua, the prophet. No, no, hold on, but you said you just said Moses. Yeah, Mo, yeah, Moses and Joshua. Moses wrote most of the Torah, Joshua finished it. So now and we have we have they, the we have they, the prophets. According to the prophets, God is a father. That's what they're recording. Is that wrong? Sorry? Is that wrong? I didn't, I didn't hear what your question. Sorry, they were cut out for a second. The prophets taught that God is a father. Are they wrong? Well, yes. Okay, so Islam is disconnected from the prophets and you reject the prophets. You're proving the point. No, no, no. So the thing is in the Quran, it mentions all the prophets and they really and they, um no, yeah. it doesn't. Yes, it does. Moses, the main ones anyway. Moses. Oh, Abraham. the main ones. So there's some Moses. that are not so main that it, that they admit that the Quran misses, right? Moses, Abraham. Uh, which which ones do are um, I, uh, what's called? Which ones are left out that are very important to us right now? Isaiah, Ezekiel. Do, do you actually believe that Ezekiel wrote Ezekiel? Yep. Read Ezekiel 23, 20 and tell me if that's from God. Nope, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Hold on. Do, 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 so, wait, was, was that a book Was that a book that was in the, the possession of the Jews? Sorry? Was that a book that was in the possession of the Jews? Yes. Okay, so your Quran says that all that is in their possession, the Quran is confirming. It's tough. How's it tough? I don't understand. So let me let me break it down for you. You are trying to say that you don't reject the prophets, yet you Absolutely. just rejected what the prophets taught about God. I reject about God. I reject the scribes. I reject the scribes. Hmm. Okay. So, the, so who uh, who wrote the Angel? In the Bible, in the that was man. In the Bible, in Jeremiah eight eight, it says that the scribes dealt with the lying pen. Ah, okay, so chapter 15, verse 91, it says that they make your Quran into shreds. Uh oh. Looks like we're in the it same boat, huh? Shreds. What do you mean? Sam, you can't join when I'm talking to them on YouTube. I mean, on TikTok. <laughs> Unless you got TikTok. 
Sorry, man. Say that again. In Jeremiah 8.8. 8, yeah, in, in chapter 15, verse 91, it says that the, that the Quran is made into about, shreds. Uh, hold on, hold on, oh, hold on. forget about the Quran, if, huh? No, 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 hold on. I said, yeah, you guys the, are running from that Quran. States, no, no, I said, Ooh, if the Bible wait. states that the scribes of the Bible have dealt with it falsely, so we should, should, should we criticize? Dealt with what falsely? The, the book. Really. So, okay, so by the time Jeremiah comes on the scene, the Torah is corrupted. The book is corrupted. Of course. So that means that the Torah that was in the possession of the Jews and Christians was corrupted. Correct. Which means that the Quran that says it's confirming the Torah that is in the possessions Com of the Jews and Christians, it's confirming no. the corrupted book. Actually, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, it actually, no, 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 no. It confirms no, no, no. what was given to Moses and, uh, and it was, confirms what was given to Jesus. Now, read read is, chapter 2, verse 41. Read chapter 2, verse 41. Read chapter two, verse forty-one. Read chapter two, verse forty-one. Okay, I'll read it in a second. Go ahead. Take your time. No, no, no. Take your I'm time. You Take your time. I'm Go ahead and read chapter two, verse forty-one. I'm asking you a question. Read chapter He's two. Stop wasting my time and read chapter two, verse forty-one, or you're gone. Can you read it for me? If, if you're adamant you. for it, and believe read. in what I have sent down, confirming that which is with you. So yes. they had the they had the Torah with them, correct? I, oh, you need oh you need something you need something that says that the Torah with them. What do you mean? Okay, okay, whoa, what, 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 what was with the Jews you during the time a, of Muhammad? You read a quarter of a verse and then you went to continue. Read a quarter of it and believe in what I have sent down, confirming yes. uh, that perfect. which perfect. is with you. Perfect, perfect. So the Quran that was sent that. down confirming stop, what's already stop. with them, right? Stop, 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 stop. No, no, there, there's no stopping. I'm applying this pressure. Down, confirming what God sent down, that what's in there. Well, does now. it say that? Does it say confirming what God sent yes, down that's yeah, in there? Or does it say confirming it, what's with you? Just you? Just read it. You just read it. Does it say confirming what's with you? Confirming what God sent down. It doesn't down. say what God... No. It says... Well, it. I, I'll read it one more time. And believe in what I have sent down, exactly. confirming down. what is with you. So what did exactly. God send down confirming what was already there? The Quran. Okay, got it. So the Quran is what came down, and what was already there was what? What was with the, that was already sent down to the... Uh, Which is what? Country. Which is the Torah and the gospel. Beautiful. So the Quran came down confirming the Torah and the gospel that's with the Jews and the Christians. Correct. So is it corrupted? Yes. So your Quran came down confirming corrupted books. Mashallah. Did, okay. Did, Mashallah. Hold on, hold on. did God send down did God send down the Ten Commandments? Mashallah. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did God send down the Ten Commandments? It's corrupted. Yes. Are the Ten Commandments in, by themselves, wait, wait. Are you, can you deal with what we? Can you deal with the conclusion we just made? Don't don't try to just brush over it. I'm not you, trying. To, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to. I'm trying to educate you. You trying to what educate I'm me? Saying, <laughs> the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. That You're God trying to educate God. me by while at the same time saying that your God, your God, confirmed corrupted scripture. Did God? Did God not send down the Ten Commandments? Did God not send down the Torah? I'm asking you a simple Did question. God not send down the Torah? No, he sent down the Torah. Oh, he, now he just said no. He said no. Stop. He didn't send down the Torah. Right okay, watch this. Watch this. Stop right there. Stop right no, there. No, no, no. You, you, said it. you just said God Allah didn't down send the down the Torah. Hold on. The Torah. That were the Ten Commandments. Hold on, hold on. He said that Allah didn't send down the Torah, guys. God sent down the Torah, which was the Ten Commandments. What oh, the, today oh, the Torah is the Ten Commandments? commandments. Can you show me the where it's can, can you show me that? Can you show me where it says that the Torah is the Ten Commandments? Nine commandments, actually. It says, I'll, I'll bring it to you. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll wait for that. Show me in the Quran where it says the Torah is the Ten Commandments. What God, if you don't understand what the meaning of what God sent down, mm -hmm. that's only what God sent down. Not I'm, just, man I'm, just, I'm just trying to educate you, my brother. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to educate you too. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm trying to say is what God sent down. Listen to me. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for it. I know. Just, saying. I want you to focus. Focus on finding me the verse. That says that the Ten Commandments is the Torah in the Quran. Hold on a second. I'm just turning my computer on. No worries. Take but your time. The verse, the verse that you read, it says what God sent down, not what man, what not what man added to it, mm -hmm. what God sent down. Mm -hmm. 
Now, did God send down the Ten Commandments? Let's see. You said the Ten Commandments is the Torah. I'm asking you a simple question. Can you answer? I don't, I don't know. Let's see what the Quran says. We're going to see what you what, if you can prove what you say Bible, first. I'm talking about the Bible. Did God send down the Ten Commandments? Oh, so you believe that the Bible is the Word of God then? Bro, no. Are you crazy? I'm confused. Are you crazy? That's you said man, that you said he sent down the, the Ten Commandments. What what are the Ten Commandments? What God sent down. What, what, what are God the as you're looking for this verse? Because make sure that you're looking for this verse. I asked you. I'm not going to let you go. Make sure you look for this. You get this verse for me. In the meantime, um, what are the Ten Commandments? Thou shalt not kill. Oh, well, for the first wait, one, wait, 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 wait. Where did you just? Where did you get this from? That the one of the Ten thou Commandments is that God, that you shall not shall kill. Not have any other where are you getting this from? Where are you getting this from? Thou shalt not have any other God before me. He's Where are you getting this? Okay, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Okay. Um, Hello? Where are you getting this from? Yeah, I mean, what do you mean? Where are you getting it from that these commandments, these Ten Commandments are, you shall not kill, thou shall not commit adultery, these things that you quoted. Uh, number five, six. What are you saying? Well, start with number one first. Where are you What's getting this from? From the Jews. Where? Where? From the Jews. Where? From the Quran, actually. Sorry. Okay, good. From the Quran. So show me from the Quran yeah. where it's list the Ten Commandments. So you got two things you got to show me now. I'm glad. I oh man, you're 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 making a beautiful video right now. Show me where the Quran one says that the Torah is the Ten Commandments. That's number one. That's the first thing you got to show me. That the Quran says that the Torah is the Ten Commandments. That's one. Number two, you got to show me where the Quran lists the Ten Commandments, where it tells you what these commandments are. Those are two things you got to show me from the Quran. This is what happens when you try to educate the sheikh. <laughs> he, he, I'm trying to educate who? The sheikh. Sheikh logic. Sheikh, sheikh logic. One second. I don't know the verse off by heart. Uh, Dude, just take your time. You got, I hear you. You got your computer open. I hear it. Go ahead. Take I'm your time. To find, hey, relax, brother. I'm trying to find it. I'm no, telling no, you to relax. You have all the time in the world, man. 122. In the meantime, make sure you all hit the like button. Thank you guys for the super chats. And let's go ahead and hit our intermission song. <gasps> Shoo doop da ba da do ba doo da ba da da do da It's not good. Not this one. Shoo ba doop da ba da do ba doo da ba da da do da. Shoo ba doop da ba da do ba doo da ba da da do da. Shoo da de do. Can you for a second? Oh, you gotta you gotta be quicker than that if you want me to quiet down. This is our intermission song. No, you're you're annoying me. Oh, I'm sorry. You're what's, annoying. You're annoying it? me. What's it? You're annoying me by coming up with these arguments and lying on your own book. That annoys me. So no, in the meantime, for me, for me to cope, I need to sing an intermission song. Shubadu da 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 doo da ba da da doo da. Yeah. Shubadu da ba da doo doo da ba da da doo da. Actually, I can't find it. I don't know. I don't know exactly where it is. So it doesn't exist. Is that correct? No, it does. It does. Okay, good. So you... take your time. Since you said okay. it exists, take your time. Show me where the Quran says that the Torah is the Ten Commandments, and then also show me where your Quran hey, no, no, lists the say, Ten Commandments. Right, hey, listen, listen, listen. If you want specific words, you're not going to find specific I words. I want a text. Well, God, listen, listen, listen. Well, God said in that verse that you, you claimed, that was talking about what's called, it says what God sent down. I just want not a text. Added, I want the text. Added, didn't you say what God sent down? I want the text. Didn't you say it? Didn't, did you not say what God sent down? Did you not read what said? You You're said running out of God time, my friend. Didn't, it, didn't you say Shoot that when God sent down? Up, dee -doo. I'm just trying to find my notes. Take your time, man. It might be one of those, might be one of your old notebooks, you know? 
Maybe it's in your old notebook. If you go to your old notebook, go to maybe like the middle of it. There's a lot of erasure on it. I saw it. It's probably under like a under the computer drawer. Shoot up, dee doo. Shoo it up, da ba da, do ba do, da ba da da, do it up. I don't know the verse. You don't know the verse, or the verse doesn't exist. No, Which one? The verse. I'm sorry. You don't know the verse, or the verse doesn't exist. Which one? I do not know the verse. Okay. If, if you, if you're, the verse, so the verse exists. The verse exists. Of course it does. Okay, pull it up. Show me. For, go use the internet. Do what oh, you no, got to no. do. Hey, logic. Be logical. I I'm, I'm I being logical. I'm being logical. I just told you I can't find it. Right? Real why, message. Why even... Real message. I'm trying to give you the real message. It, it, you want to know why I'm doing this? This is why, man. Because you need to be humbled. You need to humble yourself, man. This is a lesson. This is a lesson not just for you, but for everyone watching, of course. Christians as well. Of course. Do not now, be so proud. Hold on. Let me let me give you the shake's lesson. Do not be so prideful that when you speak too soon and you speak presumptuously, that you can't say, you know what? I misspoke. I made a mistake. This doesn't exist. So this doesn't say that I was just talking now, out the oh, side I mean, of my neck. Just, just, you just humble me yourself. Not, me not knowing it off the top of my head doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Well, right. So you're still you're still standing on that it, these verses exist. Right? Of course. Okay, good. Since you're still standing on that these verses exist, show me. Oh, my God. Otherwise, just retract. Say, you know what, Logic? I retract my statement. And I'll move on. Give me a second. I'm just reading through them. All right. Shoo doop da ba da doo ba doop da ba da da doo da. Shoo ba doop da ba da doo ba doop da ba da da doo da. Shoo ba doop da ba da doo ba doop da Do I have to accept everything that the man that man wrote in the Bible? Shoo da dee doo. While I'm fine trying to find something, I'm giving you something to answer. Should I do? So then answer my question. Should we do? Double up, do be do. You're trying to what do you call it? Escape it. Escape the question. Should we do? Double up, do be do. Double da da do da. Come on, you should know the tune by now, man. It'll help. It'll help the time pass. Should we do? Double up, do be do. Double da da do da. Okay, hold on. Shoot up, dee do. Hey, yeah. Shoot up, dee do. Okay, or is it? Come on, man. Just say, Why I retract. Sing... I retract. I retract. How's that? That's, I retract. How's that? That's beautiful. So, um, should I? So, should I so wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because now we need to settle on what just happened. You tried to tell me what the Ten Commandments were, what the Torah was, and you said that you get this from your Quran, that I don't have it, that you can't trust man's words, and yada, yada, yada. Brother, you, you, therefore, you said this, da, ba, da, da, <laughs> therefore, yeah, there, da, ba, da, therefore, da, ba, da, therefore, 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 and now you're in straight panic mode. <laughs> see, how, see how annoying it is? You see how annoying it is? No, you're just in panic That's mode, not... man. I appreciate you, though. Hey, I appreciate you, though, real message. Thanks for trying. Thanks for trying. I appreciate it. So, guys, we have a Muslim who got caught on his words, who got exposed, and had to retract. And now he's singing the intermission song out of panic. Got a nice tone, by the way, real message. I, I like it. Next time I have a Muslim, another Muslim that gets stuck the way that you were just stuck, I'll bring you up to sing the song for me. I won't even waste my breath, waste my breath to do it. The next time I get another Muslim stuck, matter of fact, stay here because I'm pretty sure it's going to happen the next with the next guest. I'm going to bring you up so that you can sing the song for me because you have a nice tone. You got a nice tone. I like it. He tried to tell us that... The Old Testament are man's words. They can't trust man's words, but he only trusts God's words, what God says. The Ten Commandments, God brought it down. Oh, who wrote that? Where do you find these Ten Commandments? 
And then he begins to quote the Torah that we have in the Bible. But the Bible's man-made. The Bible's written by, written by men that you can't trust. Hmm. I promise, guys, man. You guys, I, 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 I go back and forth. I go back and forth. When I was talking with the with the Jehovah's Witness, I thought like, dang, man, these dudes are easy to cook. Maybe easier than Muslims. Maybe. Because we, you know, they say they believe in the Bible. So you know, I don't even got to use the Quran. But with y'all, but then I, I go to you guys. I'm like, man, Muslims are easier to cook than Jehovah's Witnesses. I just I'm, I'm flip floppy like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. 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 All right, let's bring up the next one. And after this, we'll bring up a YouTube guest. I see we got YouTube guests here. So let's see. Uh, let's see what we got. Someone said the tablets are corrupted. <laughs> How you doing? All right. He's gone. Let's see Soto. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Smash that like button. Smash that like button like you fear disobedience from it. Let's go. Like you fear disobedience. All right. If you're not connecting, you're out of here. All right, so that there's no more guests on TikTok, let's go ahead and get back to YouTube then. Uh, folks on YouTube. Folks on YouTube. I see a couple of guests in here. Mikhail Bilal or Kel Jackson, can you connect your device so that I know that you are actually here? Let's see here. Truth seeker, are you a Muslim? Truth seeker, are you a Muslim? All right. Can you show your screen for me? Show your face so that I know that you are real. Will not be bringing you up unless you show your face. All right, if you say you don't want to reveal your identity, then you got to go. The only reason, the only way I uh, let people up is if they can show their camera. If you can't show your camera, you can't come up. All right, thanks, Mikhail. You'll be next, bro, after I get done with this. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this Muslim. This is a Muslim who wrote Jesus' name, wrote Jesus' name on a paper and then put it in the toilet. That was a Muslim. The Muslims who say that they love Jesus, that it's not in them to disrespect Jesus, it's not in them to, you know, go against Jesus. That was a Muslim who just came up, wrote Jesus's name on a piece of paper and put it in the toilet. Put it in the toilet. I love when you guys show up. I love it. I love when you guys show up, when the real Muslims show up. Not the fake Muslims who are respectful, kind people. The real Muslims. The real Muslims. I love when you guys show up. Very good. All right, let's get uh, let's get another guest in here. Well, maybe he's overthought it. How you doing? Yeah, hello. First of all, that person who puts the name of Jesus 
and in the toilet, right? I don't know why you're coming up with this. Oh, a real Muslim would hate. I'm a Muslim, and I don't hate Jesus. You're not and a real which Muslim. Do, and which prophet do we reject? All of them. You reject Jesus, Moses, Abraham. Uh, how do we reject? How do we reject Moses? How come you come out base this stuff? It's not we, we why, don't you, why, don't you, why don't you ask me where am I coming from so I can show you? Okay, so go on then. Where are you coming from? All right. I, don't, I, do I, I got I, you. So do I reject just, Moses? Just relax. Do I reject just, Jesus? Just no. Re relax. Yes, you do. You may not think that. And you, you just admit to by but calling Jesus a prophet, so you accept you, that he's you, a prophet. You yeah? believe you believe that Mo, that Muhammad is your prophet, right? The, yes, the final prophet of God. Yes. Got you. All right, good. Have you ever read the Torah, my friend? No, I haven't read the Torah. Okay. So how do you know what Moses taught if you never read the Torah? Because in the Quran, there's mention about Moses. In the Quran, it mentions and, about and Moses. All prophets, all prophets spoke about literally the same things. Really? Worshipping God, being good. So okay. tell me which prophet do we reject? Okay. So I'm going to read you something that Moses taught. And I'm going to ask you if you agree with this, okay? From the Torah. Go on. All right. So chapter... Chapter 14 in the Torah of Deuteronomy. Chapter 14, verse 1 of Deuteronomy. Okay? Mm -hmm. It says, talk, God says, talk it to Israel. You are the sons of the Most High God. Do you agree with that? Sorry? Did you hear, did you hear me? Go on. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. God says in the Torah, this is what Moses teaches. They said, talk it to Israel. You are sons of the most high God. Do you agree with okay. that? Okay. Right, if he's if he's in the Torah, mm -hmm. right, I have no reason to reject it, but I've not read what the Quran says, babe. But go on, carry on. Okay, but why do you need to read what the Quran says in order to validate the, the Torah? You you believe the Torah. Why not? Yeah, I believe in Torah, but at the same time, I can read in the Quran to get a bit more understanding. Of the context of it, I said what it means. But go on, where are you going okay. with this? I know where you're going right, with this, but go on. All right, so just one second, though. Uh, it sounds like you got a lot of uh, a TV on in your background or, or something like that. It's kind of hard for people to hear you. Is it possible you could get somewhere quieter? Okay, go on. Okay. So this is where I'm going with it. When the, the Torah says that, right, that the children of Israel are the sons of God, Quran, mm -hmm. this is what the Quran says in chapter 5, Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse 18. It says, the Jews and the Christians say, we are the children of Allah and his beloved. Mm -hmm. Say then, why does he punish you for your sins? No, you are but humans from which he has created. He forgives who he wants and punishes whom he wants. That's chapter 5, verse okay. 18. Okay. So you have the Quran that says that the Jews are not the children of God, his beloved, while Moses in Deuteronomy says, yes, God, uh, God says, yes, the Jews are his sons, are his children. The Jews are his son or the, Isra the Israelites? The Israelites, the, the, the Israelites are the Jews, bro. Okay. So the Bible says in the Torah, it says that they are mm -hmm. the sons of God. The Quran says they're not the sons of God. Okay, could you put me? Could you explain the context? Like, how do you mean sons of God? Because his, his loved ones, believe Jesus. his beloved ones. You also believe? Je okay, so loved ones. So God loves all His creations. Not all of them. He only loves those who who loves Him. Oh, yeah, but hang on. If God's created someone, God loves them. No, that's now, not true. That's not what the Quran says. Wait, where does God where does God say I don't love my creations? The, the Quran says that Allah does not love the disbeliever. Yeah, the ones who reject his message. Okay, so he doesn't love everyone. The one who transgress against his message. Right. So he doesn't love all his creation. He only loves those who believe in him. Okay. So go on. Okay. So in, in the Torah, it says that they are the sons of God, his beloved ones, the ones who he favors and loves. The Quran okay, says can I ask you no. something? Okay, can I ask you something? In between when the Torah was revealed, mm -hmm. right, and then by the time the, the thing was revealed in the Quran, because we believe the Quran to be the final book of God, mm -hmm. what happened in between that? Uh, so you have the gospel. You're asking the between the Torah and the and the Quran? No, no. What happened with the Israel, the Israelis? What happened? Oh, why were they, they exiled? They they continue. Why were they exiled? Because they be, they disobeyed God's commands when they were so in the they, land. So therefore, by the time we come to the Quran. 
yeah, it could be valid to say that, you know what, this is why God did not love them because they disobeyed well, God. Well, no, no. The Bible says that God's love for for Israel is forever. It says that he is given them in an in everlasting covenant. Okay, but, but hang on. So is that love he doesn't change. Is that love, is that love conditional in, in a you no, uh, obeying no, God? No, it's, uncondi it, it, it's, it's, con it's conditional upon God's mm -hmm. own promise. So because God's own promises never change, therefore his love for Israel will never change. If it okay. was if it was conditional upon upon Israel, then God's love for Israel will be continuously fluctuating. Will always be fickle. But he's not but fickle. That, he's not fickle. Yeah, but at that time, if something was revealed at that time of Torah, yeah, where he said they are the love, they are the beloved of God, and then they disobeyed him, mm -hmm. of course God is not. He's, he, of course, it can be changed, can't it? No, it cannot be changed because this God, is why no, the Quran no, is no, the no, final. No, book. No, my, my friend Ibi, my friend. God says and he promises that the covenant that he made with Israel is an everlasting covenant. His love for them is forever, no matter what. Okay, and does that, and does, that, does that say for the ones that obey him? Or all, the of, ones no, that all of them, them, all of them. It the, doesn't say all the of them, does it? Yes, it says, Abraham, through you, I will establish my covenant, an everlasting covenant for your seed, for your children. So whoever yeah. is of the seed of Abraham, for those that, whoever for those is of the, that you're, obey. You're not, you're not listening. Where does it say that? Yeah, but, but tell me something. Why no, no, is God going to love people why are you who disobey, not listening? disobey wait, why are you disobeying? Why, why are you not addressing what I just said? All right, go on. So he says that the covenant with them is everlasting. That means forever. It doesn't end. You carry on because I'm going to read what the Quran says about it. But you, you carry on. Yeah, go on. Well, I'm listening you can read to you. What, my, my whole point is this. The Quran contradicts what the Torah says. Yeah, but the Quran is the final book. So the there are going to be things that are revealed at the beginning mm -hmm. and towards the end, they're going to change. No. So the so, Quran no. perfects everything. Oh, oh, so you're saying that God changes? What do you mean God changes? You're saying that God changes? changes. Did, did the people at that time... Okay, can I ask you something? Wait, when, Ab simply, when Abraham, does God wait, change? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. When Abraham does was given that contract, God like you said... God change, my friend? Simple. What do you mean, does God change? Does he change? Does he go? Well, does on, he certainly. does he have one characteristic wait, 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 and then on, changes his, his characteristic? Okay, can I say something? Answer can the I question. Say something, right? Answer the question. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me answer that question, please. If people disobey God, is God gonna is it is it not for God to change? No, God doesn't change at all. God God's okay. character isn't based on humans' actions. Come on, man. Yeah, and you carry on. I'm listening to you. Carry on. God's act, God's character isn't dependent on the actions of humans. At least our God isn't of the Bible. Maybe the God of Islam is. In the Quran, maybe Allah changes based on people's attitudes. But in the Bible, it says that God is never changing. He remains the same. His character and his, and his promises never change. The Bible says that when he sends out his word, his word will not return unto him void, where it doesn't accomplish what he said what it what he set out to do. But what hey, you would I, have us believe. I, 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 go ahead. Allah made a convent, children of Israel, uh -huh. and we raised among them twelve. He keeps pausing because he's going back and forth out of the Surely room. I am with you. Yeah. My friend, when you when you pause, I can't hear you. When you pause, I can't hear you. Like when you okay, it basically I know I know uh, I, I, know, I know I know the verse. I know the verse you're talking about. Uh-huh. So, Go on. What does it say? So I know the verse you're talking about. How does what that does how does that how does that address what God says about him and the children of Israel as they are his because sons? Because he was conditional. Torah? He was conditional. Okay, so can you show me in the Quran where it says that they used to be Allah's sons, but then now he, it changed. They're not his sons anymore. But listen, you're talking about every single one of them from that time of Abraham to now. Yeah, there were a lot of people from Israel at that time that were still beloved to God before they passed away, yeah. before they disobeyed God. Can you right? show me in the Quran where it no, says no, I can't show that you. they used but to be Allah's me, sons? But no, no, but tell me this. So they never tell were. So according to the Quran, they were okay, never so Allah's people, sons, right? No, no, wait, wait. If people stuck Ibi, with I need the you, I need you to focus. done what they were supposed to Ibi, do, they were I need you to focus. God. You need to calm down and focus on the conversation. Follow the conversation. 
Moses taught that the children of Israel are God's sons. The Quran says, no, they are not God's sons. So Muhammad in the Quran contradicts Moses in the Torah. You, you understand? No, he doesn't. So what are you not understanding? Because, listen, which part of, if you stick to what, what, what the conditions were, yeah, they were beloved up to that point. Where when they rejected, like you said, they got exiled because they rejected the disobeyed they, God. Were they Allah's sons? What do you mean Allah's sons? Were they his sons, bro? Well, in, in, in what? Like how we talk about physical, oh, that's matter. my son. Were he they said, the his sons in God. any sense? Children of Adam. Yes, they were the children of Adam. <laughs> okay, thank you. Take care. No, no, but hang Can't even follow a conversation. Were they the sons of God? Yeah, they were the sons of Adam. Did anybody ask about the sons of Adam? Can't make it up. Can't make this up with these people, man. I promise you. Hello, hello, hello. What's up? You Muslim? I can't hear you when you're paused. All right. Oh, you're about to get kicked. Are you here? Hello? Are you here? Are you ready to, to talk? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Are you Muslim? Yeah, yeah. I'm Muslim. All right. Why do you guys reject the prophets, man? Um, prophets we reject? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think we reject any prophets. You do? I'm, do you? I'm, I'm, I, I, to be honest, I think you guys reject it. Mm. How do you know? How do I know? Yeah. I mean, you're a Trinitarian, so uh, do you think that's what Moses and uh, Jesus was preaching and uh, how, Abraham? How, 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 Is Abraham how, a Christian? How would you know if Abraham... Are you or, preaching uh, Trinitarian? How, how would you know if Abraham, Moses, or Jesus taught the Trinity? How would you know if they taught or, or didn't teach it? How would you know? Uh, how, how would I know? Yeah. If they taught or did not taught, you would say that again. How would you know what they taught at all? How 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 would you know if um, they taught the Trinity or not? Because yeah, what they taught was God is one. That's all. Say that again. I'm sorry. How would I know from the Quran? Yeah, from the Quran, I would know that they taught the one the whole one message from from Adam's time. From but how the how how would you be able to check Adam. that? How would you be able to check that? Because all you yeah, have is the, the Quran, Quran that comes 600 years after Jesus and thousands of years okay. after Moses, and you have the Quran just telling you about Moses or Jesus or anybody. How do you know that the Quran is correct when it's talking okay. about what they believed and taught? Okay, the Quran is correct because it's the words of, of is the pure words of Allah. Simple as. Okay. Mm. How do you test? Like, do you, do you do you understand what I'm asking? Yeah, you said how do you know it's true? I said because it's God's word. No, Revelations it, it, don't come back like, okay, at once. Okay, right? so for example, okay. for example, correct. For example, how did Jesus pray? How did Jesus pray? He prayed by prost uh, prostrating. Where does the Quran tell you that Jesus prostrated when he prayed? Um, the Quran says all the prophets did. Yeah, where, oh, yeah, show me, yeah, show me where the Quran the says it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. yeah show me that. Let me see yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. So in the Quran, it says okay. from the descendants of um, Adam and, and the descendants of Abraham prostrated and, you know... Some yeah, where, when it, when it, it doesn't say that that's in line with <clears throat> prayer. Where does it say that the prophets no, say, prostrated when they prayed? A, yeah, there's a, there's a verse where it says the descendants from uh, Adam... And a descendants from Abraham were shown signs and given signs, yeah, and they yeah, yeah. and they prostrated when they were given so they signs. Yes. Where does it say that they prostrated when they Abraham. prayed? Can I speak? No, no, does you're not. You're not dealing with the question. Hello, you're not dealing with the question. Where in that well, verse does it say that they prostrated when they prayed? That's what it says. They all prostrated, putting their head on the floor. When what? What was the occasion? <laughs> Okay, okay, tell me what okay when someone bows down and puts his head on the ground, what is it? 
Prostration, it's right? Re- it's prostration in regards to what? Do? You guys are you guys are of out course of your mind. Are you, are you, are you okay, okay can you show it's me prayer. can you show me where it says that that's during prayer in the Quran? Oh my god, bro. So when the Quran said establish prayer and No, 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 you're now you're going to something else. Now Hold you're going on. to something else. Says, where does it say do? that they prayed when, when they when prostrated speak. that they prayed? Where does it say that? Don't go to something okay. else. Oh my God, bro! Listen, the Quran says, first do lillahi wa abudu." Of course, when you sujud, when you prostrate, you where does it, where does it say that Jesus performs sujud? Oh my God, bro! <laughs> Doesn't that verse say they all prostrated? When what? Like, for example, oh let, God, let me let me let me let me give you a real life example. Let me give you let me give you a real life example. What do you do when you prostrate? Hey, let me give you a real life example, my guy, because it sounds like you're not catching up. Let me try to give you a real life example. If um, if if uh, my if my mother uh, gave me a really great gift, a really great gift that I wanted for a very very long time, and I fell to my to my face on, on the ground before her and was thanking her, is that prayer? That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. It has everything to do with what we're talking about. Prostration doesn't equal prayer. Prostration does not equal prayer. Oh my God, bro. So Listen. am I praying when I prostrate before my mother and think and I'm thanking her for what she did for me? <laughs> oh my God. Do you prostrate to your mother? Take care, kid. Man, you guys are are characters. You guys are characters. Can't follow a single argument. Take care, child. How you Yo, doing, my friend? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, Welcome. Uh, I'm a I'm a Christian. I have to be honest, but I just have a question that I really need some explanation on. You're a Christian? Yeah. Is Muhammad a prophet? Uh, in my opinion. In my opinion, I don't think he's a prophet. I think he was just possessed. Do you think he was possessed? Yeah. What do you think about his relationship with Aisha, marrying a six-year-old and nine-year-old? <sighs> to be honest, I think that's a bit weird. Oh, okay. All right, what's your question? Uh, first of all, I wanted to say something and then ask you, like, I wanted to say to Muslims, like, I can give you in three examples how the Quran states that even jesus is god and how, i don't know how they don't believe it they don't even believe yeah, no, it no 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 brother if you have, if you have a question i can answer it because i'm, okay, okay, I'm okay. dealing with the uh, I believe, okay yes okay i'll make it quick okay. i believe that jesus is god right all right but then there's a uh, uh when he was crucified he said uh something like oh uh father why have you forsaken me my god my and god why have you forsaken me uh-huh yeah, I know that he was like referring to uh, Psalms 22, but I still yeah. don't get it. What did, why did he say that if he's like the real God? Like it confuses me with the Trinity. Okay, so he's not. So you understand that in the Trinity, he's not the Father, right? Yeah. Okay. So they're distinct, so they can communicate with each other. Now you also understand that when Jesus becomes flesh, he humbles himself before the authority of the Father. So the father is is his God pertaining to his flesh. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah. So this is why he can call out to the father saying, my God, my God, because the father is his God or became his God once he took on flesh, because the Bible says that God is the God of all flesh. Hmm. Okay, and just one last question. Why did Jesus say Father is greater than I? Because he humbled himself again. The Bible says that he humbled himself, made himself of no reputation, and took on the form of a servant. So the Father is greater than him in terms of authority because he submitted to the Father, right? But he's not greater than the than the Son in essence. They have the same essence. They're equal in essence. So similar to like saying this, uh, you you have a job, and you're at work, you yeah. have a boss, right? You submit to your boss. Your boss has a higher authority than you, right? Yeah. So your boss is greater than you, only in authority, though. Not, but but you guys are both humans. You guys are both equal in value, right? 
as humans. Mm. You and your boss, you're equal yeah. as humans, right? Yeah. So okay. So your your yeah. your boss is greater than you in one sense, meaning he's greater than you when it comes to authority in the workspace, but you and your boss are equal when it comes to your nature. You're both humans. So the same way with Jesus, the father is greater than the son in authority because the son submits to the father in authority. He humbled himself. However, he's equal with the father in essence. That's why he says, I and the father are one. I give eternal life. My, my voice, uh, the sheep, my voice. Um, I am the one who judges. The father judges no one, but the son judges. Right? Exactly. So yeah. he's equal with the father in essence, but because he submitted to the father, the father is greater in authority as, it, as because he's a humble servant. Is it is it okay to say that they're separate but one at the same time? They're distinct, not separate, because they can't be separated. But you can say that they're distinct. They're distinct, yet one at the same time. So they're distinct persons, yet one in essence, one God at the same time. When when Jesus comes to judge us again, will mm -hmm. when when Jesus comes to I don't know uh, collect these people and. Will Father be, will he be again in the heavens and Jesus will be again on earth? Well, the Bible talks about how um, the, the kingdom of heaven will be brought, will be brought down to the new earth. He creates a new heaven, he creates a new earth, and he, and, and the new city of the kingdom of heaven will be brought down to earth. And the Father will be there as well on his throne um, in the kingdom. So we will... We'll be with with we'll be with all. We'll we'll we will see God for who He is. We'll see the Father. We'll okay. see the Son, and be within the Spirit. Okay. Um, the reason I, I'm asking you these questions is not because I have doubts in the Trinity. I'm just really trying to understand it. Yeah, that's fine, and, brother. Yeah. These are good questions. These are these are good questions. And, like I, I'm gonna take a bit more of your time right now. But for example. Uh, in the Quran, chapter 57, verse 3, it says, Allah calls himself the first and the last one. Mm -hmm. But then in the revelations in the Bible, in the chapter 1, verse 17, Jesus calls himself first and the last one. Yeah. In Quran, chapter yeah. 22, verse 56, Allah says he's the one who will judge the world. In Matthew uh, 25, uh, chapter 25, verse 31, Jesus says Jesus he's the is one the one who will judge the world. That's right. Yeah. And then, like, I can go on and on. Like, for example, in yeah, the there's, Quran, there's a bunch of these, bro. There's a bunch of these. Verse 7, Allah says he's the one who will raise the dead at the resurrection. At John chapter 5, verse 25 to 29, Jesus says that, like, I'm certain that Jesus is God. I'm just trying to really understand the Trinity. Of course, bro. And, and you ask good questions, man. Keep on digging. Keep on studying. Yeah. Keep on doing research, bro. And you'll be able to, you know, refine your knowledge on the Trinity and articulate it the more that you practice and the more you study and research and as God leads you, brother. So God bless you, man. You. You're doing good. Um, I seen you doing uh, videos with David Wood. Do you do videos with uh, Sam Shamoon and do you think you'll make a video with uh, Mary Emanuel? Uh, Sam Shamoon? Uh, I don't know about Sam, man. He's he's bald, you know? So I don't, I don't know if I, if I trust, if I trust bald Assyrians specifically. Um, so I don't know if I'll be doing a video with him anytime soon. Um, but as far as Mario Emanuel, I would love to meet the brother. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. And Sam, Sam, he was just, he was just live with me, like literally a few minutes ago. Sam Shamo. Ah, oh, damn, I missed it. God damn. <laughs> yeah. He's, I like he's, Sam too. He's really yeah, bold. He's, he's my teacher, man. That's my teacher. Ah, oh, damn, man. He's, he's, take care. Thank you a lot, bro. Right, God bless you, brother. All right. Let's see here. All right, let's go back to YouTube. Is Mickey Hill here? No, he's not here. By Christ, no Christians. All right, Naveed, can you show your camera for me, please? Joshua, are you a Muslim? 
You go back to insults once you cannot defend your claims. Loe, you've been here for a while, yes. Uh, can you show your camera for me? Um, just to let you guys know, I, I will not be letting you guys up if you cannot show your camera. All right, there's Mikhail. There's Mikhail. Come on up. Let me uh, change this up. All right, what's up, man? Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine, bro. So what is the current question or topic? Say that again. What is the current question or topic? I see the title of the video, but I see you kind of moved off that a little bit. No, we, we right here, man. The current topic is that Islam is disconnected from Jesus and the prophets. You guys reject the prophets. You reject Jesus. You're not in tune with their message and what they taught. That's the whole thing. Okay, so we will both have our standpoints on this, but can you acknowledge that Christians, Catholics, Jews do not consider the Quran to be an authority? absolutely so would you also accept that a practicing muslim does not view the current state of the bible as an authority not necessarily i've met practicing muslims that do so i would say that they are off in their theology why would they be i, I think that they would be right in their theology when it comes to the quran no see i get what you're saying in terms of you would see that they're right but an islamic scholar not one of these youtube dawah guys an actual studied scholar hmm. should not consider the current state of the Bible as an authority. Why wouldn't they? You know what I'm saying? Why why wouldn't they if the if the Quran tells them to see it as an authority? So the Quran clearly states that the Torah review, uh, revealed to Moses and the Injil, the scripture given to Christ, we don't have those today. All right, where does your Quran say that? So I know you don't consider the tafsir as anything substantial. You want direct quotes from the Quran. No, if, if you want to, if you want to use the tafsir, we can use the tafsir. Okay. Uh. You familiar with Ibn Abbas? Mikhail? You hear me? Yeah, are you familiar with Ibn Abbas? Yes, sir. All right, so I have, I have, uh, I'm in Ibn Kathir's top here. I'm sharing it on the screen. And he quotes uh, Sahih Bukhari, who is quoting Ibn Abbas, all right? So this is what he says here about the, the, the scriptures. It says, um, Abu Qar reported that Ibn Abbas said that the ayah means they alter and add, although none among Allah's creation can remove the words from, of Allah from his books. They alter and distort their apparent meanings. So according to Ibn Abbas, the Bible couldn't be changed. They can only be misinterpreted. But the Bible is still intact. So, so my response, sorry to cut you off, but my response to that would simply be the physical book we have today mm. doesn't mean that the actual words of the creator have been changed. Do you get what I'm saying when I say that? What break that down? So someone can have a physical book that they've changed, but the original words don't become changed because of that. Does, does that make sense? Not really. So if somebody has a history book talking about, say, the American slave trade, right? Okay. If they come out with a book in 1980 that has verified information, and then mm -hmm. they come out with a book in 2015, mm -hmm. and we have no more copies of the, book, of the book that came out in the 80s, that doesn't mean the original essence has been changed. We just don't have it. Does that make I, sense? I got you what you're saying. So what you're saying basically is if the book is lost, it doesn't mean the book was changed. It's exactly. still intact, but it's just lost. Exactly. So is that is that your opinion when it comes to the, the scriptures? Is that it's just it's just lost? And that's the foundation that I'm trying to lay before we actually get into the conversation is that 
by viewing the Quran as my authority, I don't mm-hmm. feel like we have access to what was actually revealed to Moses and Christ. Okay, so when was it lost, in your opinion? I wouldn't have an exact date for you, but short. Let me, let me, let me put it like, I don't mean to cut you off, but like, would you say that it was lost before Muhammad's time or like after Muhammad's time? I would say that those changes came before the time of Muhammad. Changes or law, they're being lost. So in terms of how the Quran, because the Quran is my authority, Sahih International's translation or explanation, Surah 2, um, Ayat 75, do you covet the hope, O, o believers, that they will believe for you will, for, for you while a party of them used to hear the words of Allah and then distort it? Yeah, how? I.e. the Torah, after they had understood it while while they were knowing. So yeah, so just yeah, how are they distorting it though? Because Ibn Abbas says that they only distort with false interpretation. They're not so, they're not changing the words of the text. So my belief is simply that the Jews have knowingly corrupted the word for their own worldly gain. Mm-hmm. And of course, this can go into I don't want to get you know any strikes on your live stream. But this could go into simply how, you know, many people view as the Jews being straight up liars. Well, and, well, let's, yeah, let's let's relax on that. Yeah, and that's but, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But, you know, but, I, no, I, no, no, let's 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 because I'm trying to understand your view, because it sounded like at first you were saying mm-hmm. that the text wasn't changed. It was just lost. Correct. But it sounds like now you're saying, no, the, the text was changed. No, in terms of what we have today, what we're presented with. That is a change word in terms of what everybody is accepting as the word okay. of God. Does that make sense? Okay, but according to your scholars, they say Ibn Abbas says the the words couldn't have been added to or taken away from. That's what so, we just read from Ibn Abbas, but that they distort by false interpretation. So, so you, and the, you started off by saying we need to lean on you know like the, the you know real Islamic scholars, not the Dawa guys we get on YouTube. Exactly. Islamic scholar. So Ibn Abbas is, you know, that's the ink of the Ummah. So what, what are you disagreeing with Ibn Abbas who says, no, it cannot be changed. It's actually intact. So simple as this. What do you interpret the word to distortion to mean? So, can, di- uh, can, distortion, yeah. can distortion mean a, an addition, a removal? It, false interpretation. So look, it says, like, for example, after what you just said to me, I hear what you said and understood what you said, but then I go and I lie about what you just told me, even though I understood what you said. So I'm distorting your words by lying about what you said, so not I, changing you know, it in a text or anything like that. So I feel like that would be a semantic because you're literally saying that it was changed by you just using the word lying or misinterpreting. It's still changing the word in terms of what the human eye, the human hand will be able to have today. Yeah, I'm supposed to. No, yeah, so that's not my issue. My issue is when you're saying it, the, the, the text was changed. I'm saying, and Ibn Abbas says, no, the text cannot be changed. Only they lie. They, uh, they distort with their tongues. They change it with their tongues, not the text. So that was my first talking point. My first talking point was I don't believe that what was revealed was changed i believe that what we have today for the physical eye and hand is not what was revealed back then we don't have access to it i got you so yes so the bible is a complete the bible we have today is a completely different book than what was revealed to moses jesus and the prophets well what you're saying well, not completely different, of course, but okay, like you that, said, I, I'm, I'm lost, then, bro. I mean, come on, man. Well, no, nah, come I'm on. Try, I'm, I'm trying to find a solid foundation that we can rest on, so that we can actually move the conversation forward. But it and, sounds like every time we get close, the goalpost shifts. And and that's why I chose to speak on it the way I did in the beginning, so we can lay a foundation, so we can actually have a fruitful conversation. So, which so, is it? Is it lost or is it changed? So simple as this, we don't have it. So meaning it was lost. Got it. It was lost. Gotcha. So for example, you know, the childhood game telephone. 
I no, you ain't got to break it down. I get it. So it's you, lost. Perfectly fine. So it's lost, not changed. The original word. We got to break down this so we don't get a feel run of what I'm talking about. The original word was never changed because the word of God cannot be changed by a human. Got it. So it's okay. not changed. It's just lost. Don't have access to it anymore. Correct. And what we right. have to, okay. and, and what we have today, uh -huh. a lot of people interpret it as the original word. I got you. So now here's my question. When I moving on to step two, when was it lost? Before Muhammad's time or after? I would say before the time of Muhammad. Okay, so it's lost before the time of Muhammad. So then this is where it brings us to this then. Go to chapter. Well, I'll, I'll just put it up on the screen on because, you know, I got stuff we can share. Okay. Oops. Um, there we go. So the Quran, the, the, the scriptures were lost before Muhammad's time. Got it. So now. This is what chapter two, verse 41 says. Since you quoted 275, I want to stay in chapter two. Chapter 2, verse 41, it says this. It says, And believe in what I have sent down, confirming that which is with you. Right? And be Lord. not the first to disbelieve in it. And do not exchange my signs for a small price and fear me only. So the Quran says that the Quran came confirming what is with you them what is in their possession so if you're excuse me if you're saying that the scriptures were lost and they didn't have access to it what is the and maybe my bible is what they had in their possession then your quran is confirming my bible that was with them so again i believe now you're getting into the semantics of it and trying to again like you said before interpreting the word the way the word the way you wish to interpret it so this can go several different ways this could mean with you as in what i have presented again confirming that the original words of the creator cannot be changed you said it was lost so if it was again, lost, again we already established yes, we already established. yeah so look look here i don't mean to cut your wisdom but this is i gotta make sure that we're on the point Correct. You said that it was lost, that they didn't have access to it, and it was lost before Muhammad showed up. So what in the world is the Quran saying that it's confirming that they have with them? And that's what I'm saying. So simple as this. By the human hand, giving access to this, what we believe is a man-made version of the creator's word, that doesn't mean that the actual words of the creator is gone because we don't have right. access to it doesn't mean it's gone that's literally what you say <laughs> you're not you're not picking up what i'm trying to say because i get how you're i get how you're, Come how you're on, bro. <laughs> i get how you're taking what i'm saying so, what am i supposed to how what am i supposed to do with this man i mean and I, now, I get, now, I, now it's it, it's lost, but they it doesn't or they don't have access to it. That doesn't mean it's gone. You said look, it's lost, so it's gone, and we don't have access to it. Where are we, dude? Look, look, what, what are we doing get, here, man? <laughs> I get, I get how you're taking it, and that's why I'm trying to lay this foundation. I get how you're taking it. Simple as this. For example, um, you believe in angels, right? Yeah. A human can have a interaction with an angel. Do you agree with that? Sure. And he could never have that interaction again, meaning he lost that connection with said angel, but that doesn't mean that angel is gone. Does that make sense? Sure. So that's how I'm breaking down the word. What has been revealed to you, what is with you, as in it's yeah. still it's still there in terms of the creator did not quote unquote erase it or delete it. It's not in it's not out of existence. I get you. You get what but I'm saying? It's not in their possession, right? Correct. They don't have you said they don't have access to it, which means 
It's not with them. They don't have it, right? Correct. Okay. This says that the Quran is confirming what they have. So, I'm going to give you another parallel. No, bro. No. Listen, listen. No. Listen. No. <laughs> listen. listen. No. So, do you believe do you believe that No, dude, I need you to deal with this. It says No, I'm dealing I'm dealing with what exactly what you're talking about. I'm dealing with exactly what you're talking about. I'm not so running away how, from it. So then how is it that they are that the Quran is confirming what they have if you're saying they don't have access to it? So, simple as this. You know that Arabic does not directly translate to English. Come on, bro. Listen, listen to what I'm nah, saying. Don't I'm do that running. now. Don't, I'm not don't running. play the Arabic trick on me now, man. I'm not running. I'm not running. Come on, man. I'm not running. I watch you a lot. I watch you a lot. You very entertaining. I'm not running. <laughs> I'm not running. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> listen to what I'm saying. So, for example, just just a quick example. Do you know there are parts of the Quran, there are parts of the Quran, the Quran where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He's saying we, but He doesn't mean multiple people. Mm. So I'm giving you that parallel in terms of what you just read. Okay, how is how? Okay, how? But do, do you God, get do you get the parallel that I'm making in terms in of the God's language? sweet heaven? Does that relate to the Quran saying that it's confirming what is with? them let me answer you completely slate clean let me answer you all right so when we're talking about what is with you in the semantics of the arabic language <laughs> you don't gotta laugh brother you don't gotta laugh listen to what i'm saying when we talk about what we're talking about uh -huh. we are not confirming what was in the hand because we can confirm from history Wait, 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 wait. You said you're it's not confirming what's in their hands? What's in hand? It literally the it's lit it literally is does it literally hand, say hand? Does it, it literally say hand? Yadehi, what is between their hands? Does go back to it? Does it say hand? Does it say what they're sitting, what they're sitting with in their hands and reading? Or what yeah, yeah, yeah. are they saying what has been sent? Give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. Where's my, where the heck is my little notebook? I got all those verses. I'm going to show you. What, what verse are you all, looking for? I'm going to show you all the verses. What verse where are you talking about? Where how the, the scriptures are, it's confirming that which is between their hands, in their hands, Baina Yadehi. Um, 100, maybe you, you got, you got. What, uh, what, exactly. what verse are you looking for? Just give me a second, dude. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see. Uh, 100 or somebody. Y'all, y'all know one of those verses that says confirming that which is between their hands, not the one with Jesus. I mean, the people of the book. There we go. Thank you. All right, there we go. So, let's see here. We've got. Can you hear me? Yep. All right. Chapter three, verse three. Look here. It says, he revealed to you the book in truth, confirming that which Baina Yadehi in the Arabic is that which is between his hands. Chapter three, verse three. So again, so there are times, and I, and I hate to bring out parallels. Come on, man. Not just listen, just listen, just Come listen. Come on, man. I hate to bring out parallels because it sounds like I'm running away. But there the, are no parallels, bro. But the way the Arabic language is spoken, like for example, the term. Come on, man. The term salah. Just listen to what I'm saying. The term salah doesn't doesn't always doesn't always mean that someone would be praying to something. That's exactly what salah means. See, that's the point that you're missing. That's the point that you're missing. Yeah, can you show me where Baina Yadehi means uh, other than what they have access to? So, the translation that I have for the verse that you just read. I know he, you have a translation. No, I'm just explaining to you that it's not going to always mean hand. That's literally what it means. What is Yad? So, what is, what is Yad? What is Yad in Arabic? It's hand. Thank you. But simple as this. You brought up 
the Sahi International explanation translation. I, I didn't bring in no Sahi International. What are you talking? You about? did when you when you brought up the Quran on the screen with the. Well, oh, that's that's just what it just def default. No, but, I, no, but that's no, but that's the point I'm trying to make. The point. I I'm appeal to the Arabic, bro. I don't appeal to English translation. No, I I get what you're saying, but you have okay. to acknowledge you have to acknowledge that when you bring up a verse, and you use one translation to make your point. And then you go to I'm not a using a translation. That's what I'm appealing to the Arabic. Are you not listening? No, I am I, not using a translation to make my point. I'm appealing to the Arabic. In the Arabic, it's literally that which is between his hands, Baina Yadehi. I understand what you're saying, but you okay, just so what are we arguing about, bro? Hold on, hold on. It's not an argument. I just heard you use a translation to make a point, not this point. We mean translation. So what are you talking about that you don't need translation to make your point? If you just use translation, okay, you just okay, confirm okay, right now. Okay, I, I don't, I don't get it. So I'm let, so, gonna, so let me read. So let me read. You know, you're, 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 you're not. You're, you're. I feel like you're wasting my time on purpose. Nah. So, so listen. You're wasting my time. I would not waste your time. Okay. So, so Baina Yadehi is that okay. Arabic or English? That is Arabic. What is the what is the literal words Baina Yadehi? What does that mean? Hey. Huh? Thank Man. you. So am I saying I'm relying on a translation or am I appealing to the Arabic? You're appealing to the Arabic. So stop saying that I'm relying on an English translation. Okay. I'm seeing so, the English translation. I'm saying okay. the English translation is wrong. Okay. The word is Baina Yadehi, okay. which means that which is between his hands. Okay. You said, you so listen, said so that it doesn't mean that, the, the, that nowhere does it say it's confirming that which that like it's actually in hand. And so I gave you a verse. That literally says it's confirming that which is in hand. So, so can okay. you respond to that, please? Or I would like I to just got to cut this. I would like to respond. Thank you. Go ahead. So you did not only use Arabic to make points throughout our conversation right now. Do, can you hear me? You got to go, bro. You're not responding. You're I am responding. You're wasting my time. You say you watched it a lot. And you happen you're not, to you're not, fall right this, under the I, same umbrella as the no. At, at this point, you're not being sincere. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> at this point, at this point, logic, you're not being sincere. <laughs> Do you know how many times, how many times this brother? Switched positions. I'm not. I don't believe that the scriptures have been changed. I just believe that we just don't have access to them, so they're lost. Yes, they've been lost. Okay, cool. Well, all right. That's that's nice. So this is the scripture that says that they've been changed. Wait, I thought you said it wasn't changed. Well, I, it, God's words don't aren't changed, but uh, you know they're not gone. But you said that the which one is it? I'm saying they're lost. Okay, so they don't have it? No, they don't have it. All right, so it says that they're confirming what's with them. Uh, but just because they don't, I'm saying it's lost doesn't mean it's not gone. <laughs> you got to go, man. Go on, go on, go on, get somewhere, man. Go on and get somewhere, man. Go on and get somewhere, my man. All right. Go on, go on, go on and go on, on and reload, man. <laughs> Just go on, go on, hey, go on and reload somewhere else, man. Go on and reload, man. Let me get these super chats in because we got some big super chats. We got Jason says, first he says, you need the Arabic. After you read the Arabic, he says, we need this translation. <laughs> Right. <laughs> At first, we needed the Arabic. We get the Arabic. Then he says, see, see what you need is the English translation. <laughs> oh, now, see, you're not being sincere, brother. Now you're not being sincere, logic. Come on, logic. Use your logic, logic. Use your logic, logic. You're not being sincere, man. You being insincere, logic. 
Oh my goodness. Here's another one. He said, J Jason, man, dropping bombs. He says, the Quran says they had the Bible between their hands in Momo's day. <laughs> and that is, and that is, and that it was uncorrupted at that at the time. Exactly. So this is the dilemma that you get in. No matter what position you take, let's say you take the position that, okay, the, the Torah and the gospel, the scriptures, they, they have not been changed. They were not changed. They're perfectly intact. They're just lost. When were they lost then? Before Muhammad's time? Yes, they were lost before Muhammad's time. So then what in God's heaven is the Quran confirming that's with the Jews and Christians? When it says, we have sent down the book confirming that which is with you. So if the Bible is the corrupt version, and the Torah and the gospel are actually lost. It's They're not with the Jews and Christians. They only have the Bible, which is corrupted. Then your Quran is confirming corrupted scriptures still. Still. Tough. Let's see what else. Uh, Brother in Christ says, our Muslim friends needs to research the Codex Sinaiticus manuscripts of the fourth century. They contain almost the entire New Testament with few verses missing, the Injil can't, couldn't have been lost. Look this up. Exactly, exactly. The man with the pitcher of water. Bring me in, brother. How do I get in to debunk you? Um, you're not, it looks like we're full here. I don't, I, you're late anyway. I'm about to wrap up. I got time for one guest, though. Louie, can you show your screen? Louie, can you show your screen? Show your camera. Josh, show your camera. Uh, Lero, Lero Barnes, are you a Muslim? Thumbs up if you're a Muslim. No? I can't hear you, bro. Put it in the chat. Put it in the private chat. Lion of Allah, connect your device. You sound like somebody that's going to go to work. I'll be live again Friday, though, picture. I'll be live again Friday, so come back Friday. Um, you can join up. I'll actually be live tomorrow with David Wood, too. Tomorrow I will be live with David Wood. We're going to be going over my conversation with Ali Dawa. So, uh, yeah, um, maybe we'll invite Muslims up after that. All right, Loe, if you can't show your camera, you're out of here. I've been asking for the minute. So you got to go. Lero, you're not a you're not a Muslim, so you gotta go. All right, all right, Jazz, you're a Muslim. Can you show your screen, please? Show your face, so I know that you're real. All right, come on. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Oh, okay, I looked a little crazy, so <laughs> it's all right. That's why they got this, you know, stop camp feature. But yeah, I just had to make sure that you're not a troll. That's all. Yeah, I, I definitely understand. Um, so I'm not here to like really like debunk anybody because I'm Muslim, but I don't believe in trying to convert anybody. I believe only God converts people. I really just need some understanding on like what points are you trying to connect with Jesus? Because I feel like us as Muslims. We don't have any disconnect with Jesus. There's no issue of Jesus is pure. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the one who's untouched. Jesus is the one whose blood is of light to us. But that doesn't mean that we worship him. That doesn't mean that we praise him. That doesn't mean that if I commit a sin, I have to speak to Jesus in order for Jesus to speak to God. I go straight to God. We all say that we're children of God. So I don't believe nobody has to come between that, not taking anything from any prophets. If you don't believe in the prophet Muhammad, that's between you and your Lord. That's not between you and Jesus. That's between you and your Lord. 
we are all going to stand behind who prophets that we submit to and who we believe is speaking a true will as far as who's given the gospels, who's given okay. God's word verbatim. But so, I don't believe that because you're Christian, I'm not going to see my fellow Christian brothers in heaven because you're Jew. I'm not going to see you in heaven. I, I don't I don't know why everybody believes Muslims are this. What a crime. The Quran says, yeah, but again, the, the Bible says a lot of things that we yeah, hold, take hold out on, of let context. Me, let, me, let me respond to you now. So the reason why we understand that, it, you know, according to Islam, Jews and Christians will not be in heaven with you Muslims, according to your theology, is because the Quran literally says in chapter 98, verse 6, it says, those who disbelieve among the Jews and the Christians and the polytheists will have their abode in hellfire. They are the worst of creatures. So the Quran is clear uh, when it comes to my condition or my destination as a Christian who rejects Islam. If I okay, reject so Islam, as a Muslim who accepts Islam and reads that for themselves, not through the eyes of other people, not through their friends' eyes, through the people that they see and they follow, who accepts and listens to this verse for themselves, me as a Muslim, I believe that means if you truly in your heart are a disbeliever, not in your mind, Again, Allah tells us that he's put people in instances where they whispered, I am a true believer, just because they didn't want to be cast in stone. So I'm not going to say that because you whisper that you're not a true believer, you're not a true believer, because only God knows your intent. So if you are not a true believer, I do not believe that you will be in heaven with the true believers. That does not mean that I don't believe in Jesus. That doesn't mean that I don't believe in Moses. Yeah. That doesn't leave I believe in Amber. No, to you it does. And well, again, no, let me, let me we wait, 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 one you, second. You, we pay for our own from. sins, though. Yeah, let me, let me, you asked where we was coming from. Where I'm coming from, that shows your disconnect. When you say that Jesus is the Messiah, for example, what does that mean? Jesus is the one to walk this earth, the most purest form of human beings. But that's not There's what no Messiah. pure form. So again. That's true, but that's not what that means. That's not what Messiah means. So what do you interpret that that means? Okay. The actual definition, so I can get some more clarity. No worries. The actual word means anointed one. He's the anointed. Okay, so the the one that walks in one second, the one that walks this earth of no question, sin you're trying to get will not be. No, I, I'm just I just want to say I just want to ask you this. So the person that walks amongst this earth of no sin, the most purest form, is not the anointed one. He's the anointed one, but it does the Messiah. The word Messiah doesn't mean one who is absolutely pure and walks this earth, who's the you know purest and cleanest of us all. That's not what that means. The word Messiah means anointed one, and he's anointed for a specific purpose, to do something. He's supposed to do something. Do you know what the Messiah was supposed to do? To spread the word of God, the true word of God. Nope. So what we'll see, well, that's it. what our intentions is as Muslims. So as a Christian, what yeah, is the not, true? We're not talking about your intention as a Muslim. I'm talking about the purpose of the Messiah. What was the Messiah supposed to do? What was his mission? Do you know? To as gather the true believers. As a Muslim, I would believe to gather the true believers that were in disbelief, people well, so that weren't believing. Nope. You're, you're, the Quran doesn't even say that. Here's the, here's the point. The Quran is silent about why Jesus is identified as the Messiah. It's silent. It doesn't tell you why. It just assumes that he's the Messiah because, yes, it's true he is, but it doesn't break down why. It doesn't show how he accomplished that or how he fulfilled that mission as the Messiah. It doesn't tell you. This is the disconnect where you need to. So, so now when you have this disconnect about Jesus as, as the Messiah, you then now have false beliefs about Jesus. This is where you assume that you have false beliefs because I don't have false beliefs about Jesus. I know there was a purpose for him. There was a time where he was needed. He came okay. from the virgin mary who can who was never touched and she beholded a child so there was mm -hmm. signs that god was sending for jesus because he knew that we were living in wicked times we needed this pureness okay we didn't need somebody to walk and talk like us and but, act like but, us and sin like but us. what does his what does his pureness do for me because it says that he was in the quran it says this chapter 19 he verse spreads 20. the message but not just that though because what message though <laughs> What message specifically was Jesus spreading? There is one God. You must not kill. You must Everybody not kill. Everybody knew you that must already. Honor your Jews knew that already. They already had the law. And we still were going through chaos. And you see what happened with the Jews. That, that has nothing the to do with like, that. Why do you think prophets are being sent? They're being sent for the time that they're needed. 
but are they are they being are they being sent to say the exact same thing over and over? If no. it correlates with one God, you should repeat the same thing over. We believe that only one God sent that okay. message, okay. and we so all should correlate. Wait, so were the Jews were the Jews worshiping multiple gods when Jesus showed up? No, but the Jews were okay. living in an in an astonishing way. You know the stories of the Jews, and this is that's in fine. But look, look, here's the point, though. The point is, is that the Jews were already monotheistic. They already worshipped one God. So if they were already worshipped one God, they didn't need anyone to tell them there's only one God. They already knew that. What was the message that Jesus came for them then? They were falling out of the realms. They were living in oh. devilish ways. They were living, letting the shaitan, the devil, get to them. Although you believe in one God, that doesn't mean you won't be tested. That won't. That doesn't mean that he's not going to send okay. hardship and at I, your ways for you to what fight. Did Jesus and say, I got you. What did Jesus say is the way to get to get mm -hmm. right with God? What did he say? So as far as Christianity, I'm not exactly sure, but I believe that in Islam is to believe in one God. And if you <laughs> do is. sin, no, I'm, I'm continuing. And if you sin, repent for your sins. Every time that you go out and live this life, if you where make the a bad deed. Jesus, where does the Quran tell you that Jesus taught to for, to repent of your sins? Where does, where does the Quran say that? He's, he had no sin. No, no, no. He where, where does he's the, pretty no. much telling you to walk where in my life. He's telling you to walk like me, and he is of no sin. Where, that where, means that where, you should not commit where, sin. Where does Jesus say that? Show me. He in tells the Quran. us don't. He tells us don't backbite. Okay, where does where in the Quran does Jesus say don't backbite? Jesus, I don't, I don't know the exact verse in there where he it's, states it's that Jesus there. doesn't say backbite. It's not. Here's my point, sister. My point so, is, so is that so do you think Quran, that we're going to know? So do you believe? Listen. The Quran doesn't tell you what Jesus taught. That's the point. That's the disconnect. The Quran doesn't tell you what Jesus taught or why he specifically came. So is that That's the, the premises of, of, of Islam not being real because they don't go into full depth of what Jesus taught? No, that's not why. Here's, here's the, here's, this is why. So because there's a disconnect, because it doesn't tell you what Jesus taught, it gets wrong the things that Jesus believed in and, and these truths what, about what, Jesus. what did I say in this conversation that was wrong? What did I say in this so, conversation right, so, that I got so, from Jesus that was wrong? So, for example, because when you're saying that he came to get them back right with God, you don't have an answer of what did he say is the way to get back to get right with God. What Jesus said was when we read the gospel, we can see what he said. He said, come to me. Come to me, whoever believes in me, he will never thirst, nor will he hunger. You come to me, I will give you rest. You come to me and believe in me, you will have everlasting life. You come so to me. you don't believe that when people come to Jesus, their intent is not pure? You believe that everybody that came to Jesus was pure intent? You believe that? No, I don't. The ones, okay, who, come, the so ones who come and believe in him, those are the ones who are saved and made right with God. The ones who are hypocrites and reject him and don't believe what he says about himself, they are still, you know, stained with their sin. This is why I'm saying this about Islam. As a so Muslim, you're saying that about Islam, Muslim, but you, we don't, believe you don't know Christ. That Jesus, <laughs> we don't what? You don't know Christ as a Muslim. We don't what, Satan? You don't, you don't so know. So no, you're Christ. right. I listen, listen, listen. You, I never sat on here and said I know Christ. That I didn't say I know Christ's book from the beginning to the end. But what mm -hmm. I gather throughout my reading, again, we all have to sit here and remember that we're not going to pay for anybody else's reading. We're not going to pay for anybody else's sins. We're not going to pay for anybody else's wrongdoings. Only ourselves. So when I read, I have to make sure it resonates with myself. Because you could tell me anything. You could tell me anything you want about Christ, but it might not resonate with me the way it resonates with you. That's that doesn't make me a does disbeliever in Christ. Does it does it matter who it resonates with? Is it's it's yes, what? because it's either, supposed to, no, no, because listen, if you're if you're saying you believe in Jesus and it really is not in your heart yes, that you believe yes, in Jesus, that's a problem. Yes. Let me respond. It doesn't matter whether you agree with what Jesus said or or disagree with what he said. What he said is what he said. You didn't hear what I said. You didn't yeah, hear what I said. said. I said you, you can said say you can agree. I said, listen, I me. said you can say you agree with them, but in your heart it doesn't resonate. 
So we're okay. remembering that God believes in your intentions of your heart, not what you so then say. That means you can that say you, if, the, if his words don't you're resonate God, with you, then you, you telling people then that there's the disconnect. But that doesn't mean you're really Christian. That doesn't mean there's you, the dis. Pay attention. There's the disconnect. That's if you're your saying disconnect. that his words don't resonate with you. No, There's I never said that. Listen, listen, listen. You got to listen to what I'm saying. There are people who wear a mask on their face and they tell people that they are believers. They believe in Christ and in their heart, they truly do not. Who are you to tell them that they are a true believer? Who am I to tell them that they are a true believer? We do not know that. Yes, Only we do. God we know does. them by their fruits. The Bible, Jesus says this. This is how you know the ones who follow me. You know them by their fruits. The ones who bear the fruit of Christ, bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And those in are the ones who are in Christ. And the in ones 2024, who don't, what wait, is that fruit? You, I'm, I'm, try, I'm talking here. I just want to know what's that fruit in 2024. Why, why are you cutting me off, bro? Come on, Jazz. I just I'm, let I'm you your talk. sis, not your bro. I just let you talk. Okay. So you gotta, if, if I'm going to give you respect, you got to have the same respect back. All right? Yes. So when you have Jesus saying, those who bear my fruits, those are the ones who are in me. We, we see this now. We can tell who's a, who's a believer or not. For example, Jesus teaches that he is the son of God who came to give his life for the sins of the world. Do you believe that? I believe that he is a product of God and he came here to reveal God's message. So not to do you believe that he's the son of God that came to give his life for your sins? I believe he is the son of God that came to give us a message to clear us from our so sins. Do I don't believe that. I believe we all are the children of God. I believe he is a special son. Yes, most definitely. Oh, well, your Quran says no. Your Quran says neither Jesus is the son of God, nor are you a daughter of Allah. So if we want to state that we are all children of God, I mean that in the aspect yeah. we are all God's creations. We yeah, are not created is... without God. You're stating that it doesn't specifically say I am the son or I am the daughter of God. I do not need that, that no to know that in my heart. Allah, listen, chapter 19, verse 93. None can come to Allah except as a slave. You cannot come to him as a daughter or a son, you could only come to him as a slave. He's only yes, your a master. slave of God. He's he right. is my master. He's a slave. Of, I am a slave no of God. So, so your Quran contradicts what you said because you said you believe Jesus is a special son of God, which I a agree with. Okay, but so your a special Quran creation. rejects that. So a special creation. I don't need the Quran to not, spe specifically say, "I am a son of God" to believe that I am a creation of God because without so God, I am not created. Says correct? He's the son of God. Do you still affirm that or no? Yes, I believe we are all children of God. So then you he's just, a human being. He bleeds like me. He pees like me. He eats like me. He so gets tired you, like so me. You reject the Quran. No, I don't. You want me to reject the Quran. I don't reject the Quran because it doesn't specifically say that. What? What okay, type of? Let me, let me what type of you ideology? How, let me is show that? you. Let me just show you how you reject the Quran. Let me just no, show. No, you can't show me anything. I'm show you. <laughs> you can't show me anything. Yeah, I can. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna show you. You're gonna I'm show sure. me what you interpret. That's what you're gonna do. You can say that. I'm gonna show you what I interpret and how I feel it says. I'm going to let you read. No, I'm you gonna... read it. It's your show. It's your platform. There you go. Because I don't want you saying that I misinterpreted or anything like that. Go ahead. Can you read this? And what me? is this? You read, ask me, Quran. what is this? Chapter 9, what verse 30. So I can't pull my Quran up because I'm on my phone and I, I don't. I just learned how to do this I, live this stuff. So. I have the Quran up for you. Yeah, but there's there's multiple translations. So let's not. Let's what not what translation do you want? Read it and interpret it how you want me to understand I know, I'm not it. interpreting anything. I want you to read it. No, I don't, I don't want you to accuse I'm me at it. You of, read of, it of if saying, you, oh, sir, you're interpreting it your own way. Sir, Can you read it so that no, there's no confusion? It. You read it for me, sir. I'm not here to read anything. I'm here to explain and express my feelings after that, that you state. So no, you go ahead mean, and read it. Feelings. We're here about truth, not feelings. Okay, truth. I'm here to state my piece. How about okay, that? I'm so here to state my piece. It says, the Christians say... The Messiah is the son of Allah. That is their statement from their mouths. They imitate those, uh, those saying of those who disbelieve. May Allah destroy them. How deluded are they? So Allah, the Quran says that you are deluded and a disbeliever for saying Jesus is the son of God. Okay, so can we take in effect that when this was revealed, people were rejecting Islam because it came from the prophet? 
So can we reject, can we say that he's stating that in the sense of you're rejecting my word because of who it's coming out of? You're killing the message yeah, because, because of the Muhammad messenger. Muhammad so is contradicting shit? Jesus who says he's the son of God. Muhammad he, just he said says the Quran the Christian, that he's not it says the God. Christians say the so do you, do you agree say, with the Quran verse? So here? these Christians could be disbelievers. Do we not know that? We are don't you know just, if they're you disbelievers. Just, why are they disbelievers? According to the verse, why, what makes them a disbeliever? The way they're stating that he's the son of God, direct Boom. lineage. So you just said that Jesus is the son of God. So you're a disbeliever according to the Quran. So don't you God, don't you, don't you Christians believe that Jesus Wait, is God? There's a, that. Don't you? No, no, no. Wait, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just saying. The a, no, I'm not trying to change the subject. Right, I'm trying to get clarity. You can't, you can't. You can't. I'm trying. You can't even let me go in clarity. Boot me. Do what you do best. Yeah, take care of yourself. Can't even follow a conversation. It doesn't matter if they're male or female on this uh, in this religion. All of them are half-brained. All of them are half-brained. Every single one of them. Doesn't matter if it's a man or a female in this religion. I choose me. I'm not about to keep yelling over you, or over your emotions. You come to preach and just talk about how you feel. I'm not here for that. Let's get to the truth. And if you can't handle the truth, you don't belong here. You, if you can't dialogue intellectually, you do not belong here. This ain't no feelings. Simple as that. According to the Quran, you're a disbeliever since you said Jesus is the son of God. You're deluded and Allah is going to destroy you, according to this verse. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Thank you guys for showing up. Appreciate you guys. My voice is getting tired now. Uh, I'm going to choose me and get something to eat. I appreciate you guys for coming through. Thank you guys for all the super chats, man. I appreciate you. I pray. I, I, I want to meet you as well, left field. I pray we meet as well. Emmanuel says, all your vids are funny, and I always learn something new. I drive an hour to college every day, and your vids always make it feel shorter. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I know what that feels like, man, having those long drives, and you want something entertaining to listen to or watch. Man, I know exactly what you're feeling. But yes, so thank you guys so much. Uh, we almost had 3,000 people watching on YouTube. Almost. We was at 29, like 60, 70, one of those. It was so close. We almost got there. But we're going to go ahead and call it, man. We're going to go ahead and call it. So keep me in your prayers, guys. Pray for Bishop Emmanuel. Pray for Sam Shimon and his patience. I think he's live right now or going live, so... Uh, yeah, I love each and every one of you guys. So you guys take care of yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned. Make sure you take notes. Make sure you take notes. And if you want to support the ministry financially, all the links are in the description. Uh, you can give through PayPal, Patreon, um, uh, Venmo. So these are ways that you guys can support the ministry. Thank you guys so much for coming through. Thank you guys so much for, uh, for tuning in. And yes, we saw the disconnect that Islam has with Jesus and the prophets. They don't know what they taught. And when they find out what they taught, they reject it. Simple as that. Salam al Yeshua Akbar. <laughs>